Because I, I, I wimped out because I thought she's too big for me. She's so, so, she's hey, what, maybe I thought that too. John and I, can, let me just say, John and I hung out with her one night hmm. for a couple of hours, and I didn't see any sparks of any kind. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean there. It was like, it was like, you know what I'm saying? A couple, were you couple, rubbing her leg down? No, but she, she like stood there, there, and I said hello, and she said hello, and we were both in uh, Vegas. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. I'm telling you. Oh, she wanted it. Wait, if I she was, was about to say, let's you know what, dude? Come come on. On. She would have said, yeah. Pam no. is a friendly girl, and that's where you can't get confused. Yeah, you I can heard... tell when a woman wants you, and you can tell when a woman's just being friendly. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard she was into Beetlejuice, type. too. I heard she came on to Beetlejuice. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you, know, you, know how, you know how I know she wasn't interested with John? We sat with her for two hours. And they were talking about their kids a lot. That's a, that's the way you know. Yeah, that's how you get in. Hey, I should make a. Uh, I should. I don't mean to interrupt the fun, but uh, this is a breaking news story, a serious news story. What? A plane has crashed. Hold it into the World Trade Center. You're kidding. The World Trade Center is on fire, which is the. What the, is going on? Really? The Let me look out my window. It's yeah, the, the tallest. Just heard you on right there. It was, it was it like one of those private planes. Thank God you're oh, alive. Oh, dude. Do you see it? Dude, it, it's. That's hot. Oh, my God. i got to go out on my roof. This is incredible. See the whole thing is on fire. Yeah. You're right. I mean, not a little fire. No, it's huge. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. If a plane right. hits a building. i right. gotta, I got I to gotta run. How did that take so long to happen? I'll call you back. Right, right. I know. I'm you, always amazed. Because, you know, a plane once crashed in, in the 40s. A plane crashed right into the Empire State Building. Like, right. right in. Right. What kind but of plane? But what kind of plane? Was it a private a stupid plane? I don't have any more details. I'm following this story. I hope this wasn't one of those, like, terrorist kamikaze attacks. Yeah. You know what? He's preparing to, uh, Let's get back to you and Pamela. <laughs> sit in on, uh, for Dan Rather. That's why he's being very serious. Yes. Uh, he's taking over this is my audition. Life. We go now to Sandra Rodriguez, who is a, on the site at the World Trade Center. Hello. Sandra? Hello, Howard. <laughs> the fire is going very well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be taking over Dan Rather when he retires. <laughs> hey, Aaron. But it's a very serious story. I mean, I'm sure it is. I, but fortunately, it's early in the morning. Maybe not too many people are in the building. Yeah, I hope not. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That's a financial building. Those people get in really early. Yeah. I mean, they really do. It's like seven. For the uh, international market. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what, what do they do there, though? I'm not sure if the plane is, like, a portion of the plane isn't actually stuck yeah, into the building. It looks like something's Where? hanging out there. Do you see on the, on the left hand side yeah, of your yeah, screen? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I don't know if you can see it. Good lord. Oh, they just pulled back for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. See that? Is yeah. that a helicopter? I think it's a helicopter that's hovering around to see what's going on. No, yeah. no, I, I see what he's saying. The yeah, one, right. Uh, up there. It's a piece of the plane hanging off the building. Oh, I don't know if that's smoke or a piece you of can't the plane. You really tell. Dude, it's, it's really smoking. Yeah. Huge fire. It's like, um, like Towering Inferno because once, yeah. yeah. well, once it gets started, what happens? Imagine being trapped in there. I built it better than that hotel. Well, how are they going to get, they're not going to get hoses up there. They're going to have to rely on the sprinkler system. Sprinkler system and all that? Yeah, well, and you know how well they work in this yeah, city. Yeah, but you know, these stairwells are all You can't drag a hose up there? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't they have a ladder that goes that high? I don't even know how you begin to fight that fire. Sand. What do you want to know about Pam? Um, okay, so then you're... So we were hanging out, at, on, we were at scores. You're kissing her at that we, point. It wasn't like a big make out. It wasn't like that. But she wasn't, she wasn't pushing you away either. No, nah, she was just playing a little bit playful. But so did that's, you feel that's her breasts? What? Did you feel her breasts being honest? Come on. Did you feel? You know, breasts? guys, honestly, I don't remember. That's a yes. Uh, that's I don't remember. No, you would remember I if you did. I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. Like, you know, did you pull a butt? Close? I felt their butt. Oh. oh. How then do you not close? You were just inches you away. Closed. You were inches away from the big wire. What? <laughs> you were inches away. You I did not. No, I didn't. I never banged Pam Anderson. Never. Was it did you, okay. in the kiss do I have to go through the whole list? I swear on my kids' life. Did you get hand relief from Pam Anderson? Did no. he have his fingers crossed? No, no I told clear? you what I did. I'm being honest. Pam, I think, would admit to this. I'm not telling anything out of school. Was it clear who initiated the kissing? I'm sorry? Was it clear who initiated the kissing? Like, did you initiate or did she? She did. How'd she kiss? Oh, you idiot! <laughs> you don't you weren't there. You don't even, well, actually, you were there. You don't even know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an idiot! <laughs> why, why are you shaking your... You, you, I've never called you an idiot. And believe me, there's some right cause for it. There. You weren't there. I'm, I know how to assess a woman's situation. There. I was not there. I was the far winning, from you know, there. You, know you, you had the winning lottery ticket. You threw it away. I invited her back to my place. Oh. And, and she so wanted did, to go to you, a club. You didn't invite her back to your place. I did. You I was there. You just said you told her where you would be. I'm telling you. I said, hour. hey, maybe we should all go somewhere. And when a girl, a girl could take that and say, okay, let's go. But she was like, now nah, I want to stay with my friends. You didn't she wanted a little form. No. no.
You go back to go out to the club with your drink. If you whatever, want. whatever. I didn't have time to work it. Didn't have time to work it. I'm not going to sit. And want to know the truth? I wasn't going to sit there and work it all night. I wasn't going to put in the time. How'd she kiss, by the way? Oh. It was fine. It was it was a pack. It was nothing. It was, no it wasn't certain. No, it wasn't anything serious. It I was take nothing back my serious. Idiot. Yeah, it's nothing. It was nothing serious. <laughs> Believe me, if if I saw the glimmer of hope, <laughs> if right I saw there. the second <laughs> of any kind of opportunity, I would seize it. Right. I never turned down. That, that. sounds hey, like you, Angie's story, you, you, though, doesn't it? It does, but it's not. You know what a good no. litmus test is? When you, no. when you kiss a girl, yeah. and if she touches you when you kiss her... There was no touching. It was very it. playful. She wasn't touching you? But if she doesn't touch you, no. you get nothing. That's, I, that's uh, how listen, it works. I know the difference she, when was someone... Was she sitting on your lap No. at this time? No. Where was she? She couldn't sit on my lap. Natalie was on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> and she got a little jealous, that's and all. And so she leaned over and started kissing... She gave me a kiss. It was not leaving a tongue. It was nothing. Oh, dude. Uh, dude. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Tom. Uh, you got to watch your monitor. They're going to play back. There was just an explosion. Oh, oh. let me see. Oh, no. This is... This is um, what, what happened, Tom? What do you know? I mean, all I know is that apparently a plane... That I've, heard it, uh, I've heard Channel 2 describe it as a... Uh, uh, it looked like someone was driving... A you know, drunk driver driving a car flew into the building. <laughs> Was it a terrorist attack? Look, Look at it's that! Unbelievable. Oh, I mean, it's a huge hole. See what's going on at the World Trade Center, That's and about. There's, there's wow, an explosion look at that. that just happened it's, 20 it's even lower now, the explosion. It looks yeah. like a movie. It is. Um, yeah, it does. It looks like a, a uh, movie special effect. Oh, I'm telling you, it's Pam way. Anderson's jet. Oh, stop. Vinny, what are you talking about? There's no time to be making a... This is not oh, even wait, a joke. Wait, hold on. Is, it, is, is the other one catching for you now? Gene Simmons is a... No. <laughs> what was the Gene Simmons thing? Gene Simmons blew up. <laughs> wait a second. Let me see that again. Just, pull that up again. Is it in both buildings? Oh, does it look like, yeah, it looks like the other buildings are Why this explode? caught now. Well, yeah, this is going to... I mean, this is going to be massive. Yeah. Are there people in the building? There's got to be people in the building. Know, but I, I mean... I don't know who said it was Gary or John, but you're right. I mean, how, I mean, how, how does the fire department deal with this? I don't know. Well, they said emergency crews are rushing to the scene. That's a hole like the like the Oklahoma City hole in a building. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I think there that, it is. There it is. That's a heart. That's flames, man. See, that, that that's really the second doesn't... building. So. Oh my God. No, 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 no. no, no. The one on the second right. building's on fire. That's yeah. right. The, the one on the right has a hole in it. A hole in it. The other one's the one that exploded. No, I think it was the back, that's a reflection the of, the, of the first building. That's a reflection. Jeez. At least I hope it was. I do too. So anyway, Pam Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> it was just a rumor. Somebody just called and said that on CNN, a second plane just crashed into. Oh, oh my Stop God. it! A oh, second plane. Wait a minute. Two of the buildings. They are two Howard buildings, building. and that is lower. That's what I so it's a terrorist attack, isn't it? Just, that, that's no, what they're it's saying. Gotta, it's got to be. It's got to be. Somebody well, just called. Oh my attack. goodness! Oh no! A second plane might have crashed, and a second building is on fire. Why does everyone go to the World Trade Center? What do they do Look, there? It's, it's, the take, biggest, it's a it's big the uh, target. Landmark right. in New York? Well, it's the biggest landmark in New York, really, isn't it? Yeah. Next to it's the tallest. Oh, my God. And it's a place where people can be killed. Like, you can't take down the Statue of Liberty. Right. Nobody's going to be killed there. Oh. <laughs> hey, maybe I should put the sound on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, count, we got count two Yeah, give me some sound. What's all that stuff? Hold on. I, I, it, um, <laughs> that's flying in the air. You see that? that like papers or something. Well, yeah, yeah, there's going to be a lot of debris and stuff. And this will be a good opportunity for me to act like Dan Rather. Uh, yes, you can practice. Because I'm going to be when them. they call. Does this scare you? Yes, yes, yes it does scare me. We're totally too lax in this country. I'm trying to tell you. Tell me if you're ready. Did you see that movie Swordfish Hour? Now at the scene, we should tell you that uh, approximately 40,000 people work in the World Trade Centers between the two towers. Look Each building 110 stories tall. And joining us now on the phone uh, again is uh, is John McLennan. He works at 200. I hope it's not Captain James. And uh, yeah. has witnessed some of this some of this unfold. As it, have we just before nine o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Yes, that was at that time. Uh, John, you still with us? Yes, I am. Okay. Just before nine o'clock this morning, and an unbelievable event happened. Catastrophic event. A plane crashed into the World Trade Center Tower Number One. Not more than three minutes ago, a second explosion happened at Tower Number Two. Uh, we're being told that it could have been another plane, although. What we saw was just an explosion. Mm -hmm. And again, Michael, you said 40,000 people work at Jeez. World Trade Center. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We're, we're efforting. Uh, reporters on the scene are trying to get down there. Marcella Palmer, namely, as many others that we have uh, called in and heading down there. We're trying to get uh, people who have been eyewitnesses to this to call us so that we can hear what they know and what they've seen. 
We're hearing that it could have been a Boeing 737 or an Airbus from one of our witnesses. So it was um, two planes? We're not planes. Still sure so you think it was two planes? Exactly They're not sure. On the second World Trade Center tower. They don't know. But if it was a, one of those size planes, those are huge jets. We have no confirmation on, on the injuries, as Lisa mentioned. We have uh, no knowledge as to uh, how many people involved. However, our producers are telling us now that we do have some videotape. Uh oh of the second plane, and you can oh. see it there. Oh. Where? Oh. I didn't see it. Oh, oh whoa. Oh, my this is God. Crazy. We We're under attack. And and the from our vantage point, yeah, clearly difficult to tell. We're under attack. What type of plane that is, but it's a horrific scene. That's and oh All right, we've just been told God. also, Michael, sorry, the New York Stock Exchange is, is being evacuated, as is, I'm sure, much of Wall Street, <gasps> if not all of it, as, as much as possible. But the New York Stock Exchange has suspended trading for the moment. It's war. Come on. Everyone tries to all right, get out. It's the Japanese. Go. Yeah, we did. This is Pearl Harbor. Right, we gotta go bomb everything over there. Now. We gotta bomb the hell out of them. You know who it is. I can't say, but I know who it is. That's crazy. This is more upsetting than me not getting Pam Anderson. What is that, Tom? There it is. There it is. Yep. I see it. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Going into that. What are you saying, Tom? I've never seen anything like. Obviously. Me neither. Nobody's ever seen anything like that. Oh my God. So that's a suicide mission. Yeah. Yeah. Suicide mission. They're doing it over here now. We, we can't put words in the FAA's no, mouth no. or in any, in any flight. Uh, I know who's doing it. Tower information. There's no way a 737 would do And on a, what seemingly is a relatively clear New York day, yeah. two plane impacts. One you just witnessed there, uh, saw on tape. Uh, it's a suicide mission. Yeah. We're at war. Yeah. We're at war. Look at that. And who are we at war with? Nine, the second one. Is this our Chopper 2 picture? Not long after nine. Uh, yeah, this is a... I believe a picture from Chopper 2. Yeah, Jim Smith, amazing. are you up there? Yes, we are, Michael and Lisa. We have been uh, forced to stay about oh my God. miles away from the World Trade Center. A flight like restriction has been put in place, but right now we are get, looking at live pictures. The tower on the left, that is tower number one. And uh, we can tell you that we can still see the flames and smoke coming out of that as well as the uh, tower to the right. That is tower number two. You can see the damage to that about the middle of the building. Just incredible what we are witnessing here from about five miles away from the World Trade Center. Jim, I don't know if you were able to see the videotape that we showed moments ago and if you have any information at all as to what type of plane and what carrier may be involved. Well, we did not have that as of yet, Michael. Unfortunately, we were unable to see the attacks occurred 18 minutes apart. Baker is right now talking with air traffic control. We're Look trying to uh, determine what exactly happened here, what type of plane, to be exact, was involved here, as well as the carrier involved. We're showing people again that videotape that was shot just moments ago of the second chow. plane making impact into the uh, into the second of the uh, the trade centers. Again, both 110 stories tall, 40,000 people working between. The Dominic uh, is on the phone. He seems to want to say something. Yes, Dominic. Oh, he's gone. What is it, Joey Boots? Howard, hey, I'm down on West 4th Street. We heard the first explosion. We went outside. We're watching the smoke come out. There's a hole in the side of the building. All of a sudden, maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes later, there was another plane flying around, and that disappeared into the building also, and you had like a third explosion after that. How big did these plane, that plane look? This, the second plane was a decent-sized plane. It looked like it would hold maybe 50, 60 people. Really? Yeah, let me tell you something. Like, we're looking on TV, and the World Trade Center is so big that it Howard, looks like I'm a tiny at it plane. Here. You, you couldn't even believe the sight. I mean, I've never seen anything like this before. We heard the first explosion. It rocked my friend's apartment, and he lives... It, you know, West 4th Street, and that's downtown, and we could see the Twin Towers right from here. There's smoke filling out of the side of the, mil the building. There's a hole in the side. Then we saw the other plane flying around after we were out there watching it for a few minutes, and that plane disappeared into the building, and it blew up. They're flying right into the plane, into this, the this, building. This, this is them towelhead bastards. Well, we don't know who it is. We don't know I yet, that. I got a feeling. Uh, you know, it could be a... Uh, you I can't say that, but I can say that. It's about time we take these towelhead bastards and throw them out of the damn country. Well, don't overreact We're too yet. nice to people, Let's man. find out who Maybe it is. We're, we're going to find out. Once I find out... They... Then we'll get crazy. Then we'll get crazy. Now, I got a lot of friends that work in that building. I'm sitting here watching it burning right now. I know, I know, Joey. Well, we the attack know happen. And, and, and I just you know people down there? Now. Yeah. You do? I do, too. My you know, father used to work in that building. Who does? My father used to work yeah, in that building. Yeah, we know tons of you people down Mr. there. Mr. X used to work in that building. Yeah, I know that. My wife used to work in that building. Let's go to uh, Mike, who works in the building next door. Uh, Joey Boots, stay on the line. Yeah, Mike. Hi. Howard, how you doing? Yeah. It's crazy over here. It's like chaos. It's 
like the Armageddon. Of course. The first, the first uh, plane we didn't see. But you ought to get out of your building, dude. I always saw us fire. Then the second time, we actually saw the plane circle around and, and it it's a into big the building. Plane. We're under attack. Could you see? There are the... people flying planes into New York City it, and it, crashing it's, into it's buildings. Chaos. It's what chaos. Are... There's people all over the place. What are this? You saw the plane? I saw the second plane. What did it look like? Did it look like a commercial plane? No, it looked like uh, maybe one of those Airbus type things, like an MD80. Hey, Howard. Yeah. Howard, anybody else that's out there listening now that's working at New York City Landmarks, take, take my word, be on the lookout right now, because these guys, they like to do these in multiple numbers. There could be Remember more coming in. That other bombing, they're going to bomb a whole bunch of sites. Make sure everybody takes watch and they see the Air Force. Howard. But the Air Force is stunned. What? On a more serious note, uh, you're a big pussy. You didn't touch Pam Anderson? No, we're back on that. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. We can talk about that anytime. Yeah. Uh, you can, you, you can rag on me tomorrow. I'm in the right middle now. of uh, organizing a military action. Thank you. Like, how do you combat this? Though, yeah, how, how oh, you know how. Reagan stopped him. No, but I'm saying there and you teach them a lesson. We know where these people are. Yeah. We know exactly where they are. We need to send some cruise missiles over there right now and just start bombing the hell out of them. Today. We're always right worried now. about the innocent civilians who, who live around. You know what? Innocent civilians, so what? They shouldn't be living by these guys. Supporting them. I all that crap, you. okay? How about this? We won't do anything. What about oh, no. yeah. we, we, we won't. Do we won't do anything. You will. GW, better do something. You will. GW, you better get on the hey, on GW, the GW, you're Howard. listening to this right now. You better bomb the hell out of those towel heads. Howard, what? what was the end result of after the whole World uh, Trade Center bombing and all the trials and everything else? Yeah. How many guys? Nothing happened. Nothing, right? Nothing. Oh, no, that's not true. That's well, some guys went to jail. Yeah. Big like, deal. Like guys. Not, Who'd they, they, know, where's this OB? Do some strategic you know where's OB Bin Laden or whatever his name is? We right. never declared well, war on. They, 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 tried, you know, they, they tried to get Bin Laden in three different places. Remember that? Oh, come on. We can't get Bin Laden. Then, then there's something wrong in this world. Hey, Howard, okay. I just yes, talked to a guy. Howard. He just went by with a, with a, with a fire scanner. So there's multiple multiple casualties. Of course. Uh, it's 9 o'clock. Everybody's at work at 9 o'clock. They timed it just perfectly. The opening of the stock and how market. Get... Everybody going to work. How do they get a plane? Uh, I don't know. Two what planes. How fast it's spreading, huh? Two. Oh, the, the whole building's oh, those going buildings up. Those buildings are just going to be. Collapse. They're like net boxes now. Yeah, but that that everybody let me go. Area. Let, let, let me go back to the news yeah, report like for a second. Let's see what's on the news. That was planned by a terrorist group, or it can be just that the, the air traffic control system completely crashed. This is going to take a lot. No, of the air traffic control system. Like a crazy air traffic control. Hold it. Visually, no, it's a clear day in New York. There's, there's right. No way two planes crash into the World yeah, Trade that's, Center. That's, that's they're, they're, right. they're a legitimate news organization. They're not allowed to say what we're thinking, you know, which is obvious. You know, evaluate some of the injuries. They were. Oh, I see that second plane flying around there. It disappeared, and then there was an explosion. Yeah. Today is primary. I mean, it's pretty sensible to me what happened. Medical service ambulances are also on alert. Remember, when there was the prior crash, there were 1,000 I can't believe injuries. I'm so I can't believe I'm seeing this either. Today is primary day, Howard, and it also means that we're losing our mayor, Giuliani, and I really think he should declare like something and just stay in office. He should declare a state of emergency. And <laughs> we can't afford to change. Dude, you see all this stuff Now, debris falling to the street below. Yeah, anyone in that area ought to get the hell. You guys, are, are you really a uh, Joey? Could come West, down. Yeah. No, that's that's far enough. He's far enough away. You're far away. No, I'm down West. I'm West Fourth Street. I'm fine. He's but far. I'm hearing on the radio they're talking about the plane is inside the building. There's multiple casualties. How are these towel heads? I'm telling you, we let them come to this country. They're here illegally. A lot of them. We don't even kick them out. Well, we're letting everybody in here illegally. Could the plane have been, like, loaded with explosives or something, you know? Sure. Oh, I mean, come on. What, what would you do if you wanted to bomb something? You'd lead just with sticking a, a plane. Explosives? Just flying and, a plane into there would it blow up the whole thing. Will. Uh, you know, I don't know how true it is, but a couple of, I think while we were on vacation, I read in one of the it newspapers that is. they are actually, uh, can, you know, like honoring the families yeah. of these uh, suicide uh, mission yeah. guys they have oh, over okay. in... The PLO uh, does that after yeah. they blow up an Israeli, uh, you know, uh, town. The family gets compensated. Yeah, the family is treated like uh, heroes. The, the, is it uh, Hamas or Hezbollah? Is the, yeah, uh, uh, Hamas. Hamas. Joey, uh, thanks. All right, Howard. Bye-bye. See, there's going to be like planes now flying over, dropping water and stuff. Is, is, is that the only way they're going to like put it out? Maybe that's how they put out forest fires. Maybe that's how they do it. Oh, 
Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about it's it. It's inside the building, though. At that point, that's like jet right. fuel, I mean, you, electrical. Yeah. Ooh, hey, bad. wasn't that building like taller than what is that building there? The big building. Empire State. State. Empire State. Oh my God. But wasn't it taller than it was before? Look yeah. how much. Look how much it, it's disintegrated. Oh, you are a nut. You know what? You got to go talk to horses in the winter circle. Oh my God. You are such a nut. No, I'm serious. You see that? How do you live in New York? Go what? You know, what building is the Empire State Building? <laughs> you see that building over there? What is that? <laughs> That's the Empire State Building, Casey. Casey's going to be like, as long as they don't hit the girl holding the uh, torch. Right, the girl holding <laughs> yeah. the torch. Why is my hand bigger than the World Trade Center? <laughs> yeah, because you. <laughs> that looks so big. Because it's on TV, dude. Nick, you're on the air. Really why? Yeah, I just called to tell you that uh, the other guy you called and said it was the towel head may be wrong. The State Department yesterday issued a terrorist watch for all Americans in Peru due to the extradition of the drug lord Daniel Ochoa mm. to America. Wow. Well, let's bomb them too. Let's bomb so let's everybody. bomb everyone. But that's totally a problem. Not a bad idea. Either that or it's Jackie the Joke, man. Let's drop a bombs. Oh, but, but you see how it's spreading the, uh, the building to the right, Howard? It's like it's, it's already going down, like a, the middle. Well, oh, don't forget. Uh, I mean, th this thing's going to burn. It, and you can't stop that kind of burning. It's going to burn the whole building down. I mean, how, it looks like it's the one way. One is two thirds of the way up. The other's about halfway up. Yeah. yeah. God knows what it looks like inside. I mean, 110 stories. Can you imagine being above or uh, uh, above that? Oh God, that's oh, a God. nightmare. Oh God, you know what the oh, oh, it's all. You crap. know what what happens? The worst thing that happens in these fires is heat. You start no, it's, it's a smoke inhalation. Yeah, it's yeah. A smoke inhalation. That's how you die. You just choke to death, which is horrible. How freaky will that be? That uh, that probably won't be part of the skyline of Manhattan anymore. Oh, stop it! What do you mean? How we must have that. Okay. Well, you're not going to have it. It's gone. But how freaking What's that stuff that's coming out of it? Smoke. The black no, smoke. Not smoke. It's called smoke. The white thing coming all the way down. Is that like a ladder? More smoke. Oh, you, you are so crazy. It's smoke. It's no, a no. fire. Look at it's that. a white shark, Casey. No, the, 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 that's the, fire. No, the thing that just came out. Do you see what I'm talking about? No. That's fire. No, the white thing that just look, See, it's coming down right now. In between the two buildings? Yeah. What a journalist. There is something. I can't see my eyes. Are so it, bad. I think it's smoke from the back no, of the building. No, no, it's white smoke. It's yeah, Spider Man. Yeah, white smoke. It looks like somebody's moving. It does. What is that? That's bigger going than a person. The of the building. Yeah, I think it's like somebody smoke. climbing down. Hang a bed sheets, man. I'd do anything to get out of there. Yeah, what is that? There's something going on there. Okay, you need about 2,000 bed sheets. To so let me go. Let me put the sound up. Maybe we'll figure it out. The radar from Boston to see if there are any unusual flight plans or any unusual planes that show up on the radar screen, and they can trace it back. They can do that pretty quickly, but again, the FBI. Possibly even the Secret Service would be called in on this to try to find out what's going on. What Remember, it's a manpower issue. You need smoke. to get as many people as possible. Smoke. Yeah, it is Black smoke. smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Smoke from the back right. of the billowing. He's supposed to uh, yes. speak very shortly. He's going to be... Hey, Matt, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? What's up? I'm watching the Fox uh, Network here, and I just uh, saw a thing on a thing that said that FBI is uh, almost verified that there's been hijacked early this morning before the crash. Really? Oh, so they hijacked the plane. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, man. There's actually two planes. Yeah, right. Two planes. And it's actually ridiculous. Watch it on a film. I actually watch it on TV now. It's just oh, this is so aggravating. I don't understand how all of a sudden one day it's beautiful, next minute no, everything's just ruined. What's that? Oh, here comes the plane right now. Oh God. Second. Wait, I am. It again? Yeah, I am speechless. Yeah, I mean, what do you say? What do you say about this? Can't say anything. I, you know, I just feel like nothing will be done. It's just no, like, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I no, think you there say... would be such an outcry oh, that God. something has to be done. They've attacked. They've attacked the United States. It. We're, it's, war. it's war. It's war. We don't. We don't stand was it, for this. Wasn't there an attack when um, the when they yeah, on, on the, the World Trade Center? On the World Trade Center. Trade Center. Why do we never this go to war over that? You, uh, we didn't have to go to war. Because this is a plane. They had all those guys lived in Libya at the time, didn't they, Tom? Yeah, I think so. And didn't we bomb them? We didn't even declare yes. war. Remember, we had the whole thing about France not letting us fly over their yes. airspace. Yeah. We went anyway, and we bombed them. Yeah, not enough. And then what happened? And then they now they, they did stopped. this for a while. They've been doing all kinds of stuff. And, and the Israeli well, the intelligence... Is you let them build up again. Israel would take care of the problem for us, but we're, we're now all of a sudden we're worried about how the PLO feels. I mean, just let's well, get see, real. I thought that was stupid in the first Yeah, let's just get real. Wow. That's a good sight to get to hit the second time. Israelis could kill everyone over there. They got the, they got the manpower, it's they got the bomb, they got everything. loosen the reins. Yeah, let them do their thing. Let them do it. Didn't George W.'s father have the chance to go all the way when we went to yeah. war? To go, yeah. just, go, yeah. just go right in and kiss The Bushes don't have the, the chutzpah. They don't have the balls. Notice they didn't do this when Reagan was up. No. <laughs> you need a guy who didn't grow up rich. A guy who can guy bomb. guy like me who will bomb things because he's angry. 
<laughs> I love the bomb. I mean, part of that was you got to remember the UN and the um, whatever the, the writs of war that they had said it was to get Iraq out of Kuwait, and that was it. Yeah. Bush pulled the plug. He had w one more day, and he could have finished right. the whole job. Oh, no question. His no his question. calculation was that uh, uh, he'd the rather worldwide uh, sentiment would yeah. be against us. Blah blah. blah. And also, he'd rather keep that guy in office than have some other guy take over. Yeah, because the guys behind him supposedly are worse. Yeah, Dominic, go ahead. This is no different than Pearl Harbor. Definitely Absolutely. Right. That's right. It'll definitely be a war, but you're, you're looking at the wrong country. This comes out of Palestine. Of course. Not out of Iraq. Oh, I don't no, know. We don't know anything, no, so. No, no, no. No, we didn't, say, we didn't say anything about Iraq. But do you see the way that plane goes into the yes. building? Yes. Yes. Those guys are happy to die for their oh. Allah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now the there some crazy people. Encourage it. Yeah, the parents encourage it. Well, that's what I'm saying. How do you negotiate with people like that? You can't. No, it's it's really. And also, the whole argument about whether Israel should be there or not is ridiculous. And they they're there. Drag Jesse Jackson back here and pummel him for even talking with that yeah. Yasser Arafat. Now, do you think the plane was full of people? I'm hoping. No, I think I don't think so. Well, they well, they said if it was, if a, it was hijack a hijack plane, oh, possibly oh, not. Oh, right, right. What do they care who else is on the plane? Right. Oh, my God. Oh, man. KC, that's the Empire State Building. <laughs> hey, thanks, yeah. pal. I got that. Why does it look taller? But those great. buildings haven't sunk, KC. And KC, the reason the Empire angle. State Building looks, looks bigger, shorter. you're, you're Empire... looking at a flat screen and it's closer to you. But Empire State the Building's on like 34th Street. Right. Right. So this is all the way down there. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. So, so that's, that's why point. I asked what the building was, because, you know, how would you see it in the same picture? Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. <laughs> how would you say things come in three? What? Things come in three. Yeah, this is Hank, Hank Dine. Hank and this. Aaliyah. Spike. Hank, Aaliyah and this. Hank, Spike, Aaliyah and this. This is four. This is pretty awful. Wow. I've never seen anything like it. This, this is, is the most yes. ca catastrophic thing. Does anyone else kind of feel Since like... Pearl Harbor. Yes. You feel inside like almost scared. Yes, yes. yes. almost. Yeah, I, scared. I am. Yeah. <sighs> I I just feel bad for whoever's in that freaking building. If anyone's on, you know, stuck on top, forget it. That's a, that's the weirdest thing about working in the city is that this New York is always we're, a the, we're always yeah. a target. I know. Giuliani you... said that he's made this city terror free, less deaths than ever before in any administration. Well, well he, he has. Each other. You're not going to blame him for this. No, what does Giuliani no, get to do with this? What are you talking about, Dominic? Well, but the point is that really you have no control over any of this. No, yeah, no, this, this can happen you, anywhere. You, you would have to treat everything like the World Trade Center and the Statue of Liberty like a military base. You'd yeah, have to put planes around do it. They already. But now let me ask you something. Now, now, now the World Trade Center has uh, a, you know, a sprinkler system, right? So, so that it's not going to be able to. Well, that ain't going to do well, anything. Well, that's for it's regular well. fires, not yeah. an explosion. So, this is an airplane driving no, right into that, the building. You know how much fuel is on the plane? Exactly. They have no yeah, loaded with jet fuel. So there's nothing that can be done then. No. 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 Listen, they, they, when they build it, they don't plan on planes driving into it. No, well, they, they don't. This was a movie. Would you believe it? No, no. I mean it'd be great special effect. Dude, see, I thought this was going to happen on Y2K. That's why I stayed home. Oh, you should have seen when the fireworks came out. I was uh, having like... You knew... Well, you know what? This is our worst nightmare. You knew this was going to happen one day. And it's happened. Well, it's because we never settle anything. You know that's what? right. I and, we don't, and we don't face the fact that the... You know, and I'm not saying it's the Arabs who did this. I don't know yet, but I'm guessing. The Arab world has to be taught a lesson. That we are the boss, and you are going to be our dogs... And you have got to be spanked. Will you well, do me a favor, please? Yeah. Will you not be the leader of these thoughts right now? Yeah, yeah. it's true. And I'm not being the leader of the thoughts. I'm saying, I don't know who did it yet. It could have even been one of our I own people. Could have been the guy that could have been the Peru guy. Like that. No, it could have oh, even been... could have been like the Oklahoma yeah, guy. Yeah, it could have been like one of our own people. It could have been one of our own people. But so, you want to know something? It doesn't, mm. it doesn't look like I don't want like you to be a doesn't talk. feel like One thing seems it like, like, it doesn't feel like it one, is right. One thing seems like an isolated incident. Two things seems like a well-planned... Oh, clearly. You know, and and... People over there aren't thinking rationally. But it was a they hijack. They never have. They never have. It's and just, to sit down and try to talk to them is crazy. Mostly you know, the Arab that's countries. As crazy as they are. The oil rich Arab companies don't take in the Palestinians. They don't want them. And uh, you know, if if this is a case of that, it's time it's time to end the misery for the world. See, I don't think the airport's checking up anyway. I mean, you can, you can uh, if somebody hijacks a plane and drives it. How you know? Yeah, when how are you going to prevent that? Your face, you do what they said. No, I'm saying, how do they get a gun onto the plane? Plastic guns. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got a billion ways. Nah, they probably got this plane. They could go to a private airport yeah, this and get a plane. A, I don't a, think this is a, a commercial airline. Well, it this depends is, on what size it is. Yeah. Doesn't it strike the you guys? The second one was a big plane. Yeah. Yeah. Is it yeah. odd that there are no choppers circling yet? I don't think they're letting anybody yeah, into the airspace. Yeah, they got to make sure, you know, well, of yeah, what's going who? on. Would you chopper up there? The Channel 2 chopper guy said this. It's a fire. There's an embargo. Right. 
down there in the financial the district. It's down. Closed. It hasn't opened yet. It's closed. But futures are 150 points down already. Of course. Oh. Hold on. Let me, let's, let's, hear let's hear this report. Everything will go up right the chopper, too. The first impact in Tower 1 happening just before 9 o'clock this morning. The second impact that we had shown you videotape of yeah. uh, not it's too long ago. actually live on our, on, our, on our cameras here. And uh, we were able to provide that, that image for you. The second impact, though, happening about 18 minutes after the first impact. And here's another look at here it on it. tape. Uh -oh. Hard from our angle Boom. to tell what oh. type of plane Crazy. or to even to really discern anything from that other than the obvious. Mm -hmm. So we're continuing to contact the FAA as well as uh, the Port Authority, wow. uh, airline carriers. Just We've crazy. heard reports that the FBI now investigating sure. uh, possibilities, we want to emphasize, of uh, a possible hijacking. Mm -hmm. and, uh, or suicide mission, that's also a possibility mm -hmm. that we're being told is being looked into. All reports from the Associated Press as well. We understand that uh, George Bush, the president who was uh, in Florida speaking to children <laughs> some vacation. a moment ago uh, when he was he notified is. of what had happened, is scheduled to speak sometime soon. As He's on the phone to his dad. He was Giuliani. out speaking to children. Right. Which um, is where the Associated is. Press only reporting that the FBI investigating as is their job. Uh, any possible evidence of foul play. Okay, of course it's difficult to find out information because the Port Authority is based at the World Trade Center mm -hmm. and Marsha Kramer has been trying to get in touch with them. The Authority has closed all the, their bridges and tunnels coming in and out of the city. Wow. What that means is the George Washington Bridge is closed, the Lincoln Tunnel is closed, oh. the Holland Tunnel is closed, and all airports are now closed. Wow. That's regarded as a security measure. Remember, when, when you take a look at the possibility of terrorist attack, our bridges and our airports and our tunnels are regarded as prime targets. So to make sure that there isn't any other further disaster, they are closing all the bridges and tunnels into New York City. No. So to repeat, That's the George Washington Bridge, the, the Lincoln and Holland Tunnels are closed. All three area airports, Newark, LaGuardia, and Kennedy airports are closed. Now, in Washington, the FBI was said to investigating reports around 9 o'clock, just before the first crash, of a plane hijacking. That's something that they're going to have to be looking into to see if the plane that crashed into the first World Trade Center building, Tower 1, was in fact... We've got to be at war, right? The well, we're waiting for our president, president to speak. Pretty close. Yep. Yeah, how are they going to figure out who's responsible for this? Yeah, first, you got you can't declare war until you know who did. Yeah, I can think of some people to declare war on though. Right? Yeah, I mean, in general, we can all go with a list of candidates. Yeah, we can use this as an excuse. It's, exactly. It's not something you do lightly though. Coordinated this had to be. I know, so coordinated. This is, uh, you know, we. Yeah. This is not. The this word is word. what. This is what uh, we've all when, known is going to yeah, happen. Yes, Saying we've been lucky this hasn't happened yeah. before. It was either going to be the Midtown Tunnel or one of these big targets, and someone was going to blow it up, and now they've done it. You know, a lot of TV channels are out. The, they, they towers, the towers yeah. are up on the world. Is that right? Yes, yeah. and there's radio stations up there as well. The footage of that plane flying into it was pure Jerry Bruckheimer. I mean, yes. it looked like it was straight on. Yeah, it's yeah. like an Arnold Schwarzenegger film. There's Bush. You know what's oh. weird? Oh, what's That's what Bush is saying. I have spoken to the Vice President, <laughs> to the Governor of New York to the director of the FBI and have ordered that the full resources of the federal government go to help the victims and their families and, the, and to conduct a full-scale investigation to hunt down and to find those folks, hunt those folks who committed this act. The country. Terrorism against our nation will not stand. No, it seems to be. And now if you join me in a moment of silence. Oh, with the prayer. Moment of silence. Do you know what I want to hear, Howard? Yeah. I want to hear him say, we will find these people. I want them to be angry. Yeah. Look, we're going to find these people and... You know what I wanted to say? Planes are on the way. President Bush, who was down in Florida for what was... You know, you got to remember who his dad was. His dad was the head of the CIA. His dad is a strong, powerful man. His father's going to make sure that things are done. He didn't do it himself. Well, yeah. Why didn't he do anything? Because they were afraid if they covered a Saddam would come next. Was that the same uh, CIA that could yeah, never get you, Castro? You guys can't you can't forget they bombed three different places. They tried to get Bin Laden. We were in fact we had rockets that went that hit the Chinese embassy. And so why did we give up? We got in some, a lot of trouble for that. Trouble. Who cares anymore? Let's go. Can you imagine that we can't find Bin Laden? Can you imagine that? Come on. And you know what? It ain't even Bin Laden. It's the whole frigging country. Well, see, that's the problem. Yeah, right. Why Dominic, is it safe right. to be there? Yeah, you're right. I mean, this could, I mean, yeah, forget Bin Laden. 
He's five got money. Five. Time to just literally say we were just attacked. What, what country, though? See, you, uh, you know who it is. No, well, I'll you tell you the countries right uh, off the we, bat. We don't. The CIA should. I'm right. saying that you, that you listen. But it's, it's terrorists within those countries, and it, and it is those car, per, it's the countries that house the terrorists. Absolutely. Yeah, but the government is hiding behind those terrorists. And I'm sure they'll take credit for it anyway. Yeah. Everyone's going to take credit for it. Bush needs to make the countries hide behind those terrorists. You know what? We got to wait and see what yeah, the, the exactly. deal is. You, you can't. You can't rush the judgment. Yeah. Well, we could. No, it's, it's, it's not like Pearl Harbor. We knew who the Japanese were. Yeah, right. Yeah, they at they least were. announced. We right. did it. But Bush should, could have generalized. He could have made a speech along the lines of that Reagan one from 15 years but ago. I, he yeah, said, I, they count on America. No one's, no one's been able to write him a new speech. Wrong. I agree with that. He's yeah. afraid he to... He's, but Bush is the kind of politician. He's afraid to say something spontaneously. Yeah. Yeah. He just said, I'm going to say a prayer. He doesn't have any spontaneity. He's got to wait him. for Cheney to tell him what to say. And he's gonna get, he, I guarantee... I bet 10 million bucks right now he's on the phone to his dad asking him what to do. Well, you know what? The first thing he said was, I called the vice president. Yeah. Because the vice president's in charge. Dick Cheney's running the country. Anybody who doesn't know that is crazy. And that, that the whole world should have a minute well, of silence in the middle of this. Cheney? Doesn't he have military background, Cheney? Cheney? Yeah, he's Cheney? a secretary. Cheney. 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 What kind of accent do you have? <laughs> Cheney. Cheney. He's talking about his own chins. The buildings are now buckling, they're saying. Oh, that oh, literally... Of course. I mean, the infrastructure's got to be... A Boeing 767 Compromise. from Boston, according to our information partner, CNN. We're not sure which plane that was, if it was the first airplane or the second. Um, again, looking into the possibility of a hijacking, a possible suicide mission, uh, the FBI on high alert. All bridges, tunnels leading into New York City have been closed. The all, port three all three airports have been closed, all under the command of the Port Authority, which ironically is based at the World Trade Center. Uh, also, the Emergency Command Center that's supposed to be bomb-proof and earthquake-proof is at 7 World Trade Center across yes. there. Um, President Bush, as you see on the bottom of your screen, is calling the crashes terrorist attacks, and he is fully uh, uh, pledging uh, to a full-scale investigation to hunt down and find the people responsible for it. Marsha Kramer, you're in the newsroom. What can you well, I can tell you now that New York City is going on high alert. It's going into what you would call its terrorist alert. They've established a no-fly zone over all of Manhattan. The Lincoln-Holland tunnels have been closed. How do you enforce a no-fly zone? You get the air. Any plane that comes into the area will be shot down by the uh, Air Force. The, you know, battery tunnel. the planes are up now. Our planes are all up. Our war planes. They're on full alert. But see, that's what I was trying to say before, Howard. You'd have to have a military base next to the World Trade Center, right. everything. You, you can't, you, the only way you protect against terrorism is to be a very strong parent. We're the leaders in the world. We have all the technology to, to spank these douchebags and fix them for once. We've been lean, you know, we've been we're lenient, lenient parents. We're, we're too liberal. We're when trying parents, to let everybody solve their own problems. When parents are too liberal, the kids get spoiled did and they act out. just buy the World Trade Center? Seriously. I don't know who did. They yeah, just confirmed at least one casualty. Oh, oh there believe me, there'll be a lot more than that. The only saving grace might be that people weren't in the building because it was 9 o'clock, but like as we said, people get into work pretty early around here. 9 o'clock is late for the financial community to get to work. It right. really is. Right. Developed after the bombing of the World Trade Center. Well, well, and I disagree with Tom. After the bombing of the World Trade Center, nobody was hunted down. There was nobody to hunt down. Well, there was. They, they, they put people on trial. These aren't big deal. These aren't individuals. That's what I'm saying. People. It's got to be nobody. countries. Yeah. Countries have to be held trial. responsible. Let me see. Mayor's emergency bunker located at the World Trade Center. Every right. emergency oh, thing is located there. Protect its bridges and tunnels. The UN, the United Nations, has been evacuated. The stock exchange has been evacuated. These are two of the landmarks in New York City that um, police and FBI officials have regarded as potential targets of terrorist attack. Again, we have also learned that FBI offices all across the country have been put on high alert for the possibility that there could be terrorist attacks other places in the country. Again, President Bush said that he called it an apparent terrorist attack, but it will take some time for uh, the FBI... Listen, we let all of these terrorists live in this country. We do. Did you, oh, did you see that the subways are shut down? I just said, oh, yeah. I'm telling you, you won't be able to get home. This is crazy. <laughs> all right, we got to take a break. Right here. We're going to take a break, and uh, I think we should just come back. We'll wrap it up. I don't know. I don't know how to wrap it up. I'll wrap it up. You don't have to wrap it up. It's just there's no wrap. Well, I'll find a way to wrap. I'm going to call my kids. Goodbye. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean you're calling your kids? How dare you? Kids. 
<laughs> Who's more important than us? You're going to call your kids. I want to make sure they're all right. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Your are, kids they are, the... are your kids something to do with the World Trade Center? No, but just at a moment like this, you want to just uh, worry about it. I feel really bad about it, like all of you. I think the terrorists yeah. are going to avoid Garden City, Dominic. Yeah, I think you're. I, imagine they're going after Dominic's law office. I just have to tell you, I do eat more in moments of fear. Yeah, I'm afraid you're going to balloon up. Yeah, I think he's really going to get something to eat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to go eat. Go ahead. I said there was one, one Danish left. All right, I, I have to uh, take a break, and when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, I guess we'll close up the show. Yeah. Okay. Right after these words. As many people as possible out of lower Manhattan so that you can get the um, emergency vehicles to the scene. You need fire, fire trucks, you need uh, as many ambulances as possible, and so you're going to need to keep as many people away from the scene as possible. That's all we have for now. Back to Michael and Lisa. Okay, Marsha, thanks a lot. We were told a few minutes ago that dozens of injuries were at, uh, injured people were at St. Vincent's, and St. Vincent's is one of the hospitals expecting hundreds of more uh, people to report to uh, be taken to St. Vincent's Beekman Downtown Hospital. The first casualty we understand was a t man in his 20s who came in with uh, blood gushing out of his arm, according to what Marsha found out. Again, ladies and gentlemen, no fly zone over the entire area. The only bridge that's open is an outbound GWB. That's the uh, bridge that's opened. Otherwise, the Lincoln and the Holland going into the city are closed. The Queens Midtown Tunnel about to be closed is in the process of being closed. They're trying to get keep everybody from coming down into this area mm -hmm. and trying to get people out. Stock exchange closed. Uh, the UN evacuated. Uh, stock exchange evacuated. Debris is still drifting miles from the scene as we look at the um, effects there of two airplanes crashing into the World Trade Center. The first one from witnesses was a small, according to eyewitnesses, a small, small plane apparently, mm -hmm. a twin engine possibly, or a boat. And then we had another report that it might have been a 737. And then CNN reporting that one plane apparently an American Airlines 767 from Boston that according to uh, CNN and another quick reminder that the Jersey State Police saying that all Hudson River bridges and tunnels closed as a precaution and as Marsha Kramer mentioned that this is just standard operating procedure in a crisis like this especially what happened after the, the bombings in the World Trade Center and then all of these systems then become implemented and the mayor, as well as the governor, we expect to hear from shortly. Mm -hmm. uh, you'd heard earlier from President Bush, who seemed uh, to sound reasonably certain that these were terrorist attacks. Though, of course, we haven't the final confirmation saying that they are apparent terrorist attacks. The president pledging full support of the federal government, as would be expected for both the victims, their families, and also to launch a full-scale investigation to hunt down those responsible, saying that terrorist acts against the United States under no circumstances will be tolerated. He's obviously quite shaken. He was just prepped as he was speaking to children in Sarasota, Florida. His aides came in, told him what happened. Uh, he made his way to a podium to, uh, to address the country as soon as he could. His remarks very brief, but in essence that's what he was saying. All of the government's resources will be will be going toward the uh, victims and their families and as well as okay. uh, an effort to hunt down those responsible. All right, uh, Michael, we have an uh, eyewitness here, Beverly Marone, who lives 16 blocks from the World Trade Center. Beverly, good morning. You saw the second plane crash into Tower Number 2? Yes, I did. We have video. We saw it live here, but we have, we're going to replay the videotape for those of you who did not see this un unbelievable scene here of an airplane crashing into Tower Number 2 just 18 minutes after another airplane crashed into Tower Number 1. Beverly, what did you see exactly? All right, I saw the second plane. My cat woke me up for the first time. She was hysterical, so I came to the window to see why, because that's where she was running, and uh, I saw the first fire. And a few minutes later, I mean, I don't know exactly, I saw this plane that looked blue and red. Uh, my eyesight's not great, no. so don't... Don't, don't worry, don't. another eyewitness described the plane as, as blue and red as well. And uh, it was big. I mean, you know, it was certainly not a toy plane. From this window, it's big. And it went into exactly where the fire is coming out of the second part of the World Trade, the second building of the World Trade Center, the building south of where I live. Sure. Okay, Beverly, thank, thank you very much for your insight. Hope you stay safe down there. Let's go back to Marsha Kramer in the newsroom for some further developments. Marsha? Well, we're now able to confirm by, uh, from reports we've just received that the first plane to hit the World Trade Center, that's Tower One, was a plane that was hijacked from Boston. It was a 757 from Boston. Again, we have reports that the first plane 
to hit World Trade Center 1 was a 757 out of Boston that was a plane that had been hijacked. That apparently was the plane that was being investigated by the FBI just before the uh, tragedy occurred. Again, the 757 out of Boston was the first plane to hit the World Trade Center. We have no reports at this time about what plane was the second and we're also, we're also told, I'm sorry to interrupt you, we're also reporting now, believe it or not, a fire at the Pentagon. So um, that's what, part of the reason why the FBI has been put on the alert all over uh, the country. Again, two things to report. A fire at the Pentagon and that the first plane to hit World Trade Center 1 was a 757 that had been fi hijacked out of Boston. Um, U.S. officials are investigating that. Um, again, trading on Wall Street has been uh, stopped. The Wall Street Stock Exchange has been evacuated. Uh, the United Nations has been evacuated. They are now evacuating the Pentagon. Lots of buildings being evacuated. They're not taking any chances. It's, it's, it, it's a starting to look like this is not an incident limited to New York City, that other U.S. targets, or other U.S. sites um, are being targeted. This is coming at 9.43 Eastern Time. And we understand that there's a bomb at a helicopter. Uh, right. You're listening to Brian Gumbel with uh, CBS right, News sure. as you look at pictures, live pictures from Washington, D.C. Marsha mentioning it. You're looking at a fire at the Pentagon. The Pentagon, also the site of activity, is clearly evident there on your screen. CBS News also reporting that the White House has been evacuated. Evacuated only. You're looking at a split screen now. The World Trade Center, the site of two plane crashes that Marsha Kramer reporting a moment ago uh, apparently confirming that the first plane a 757 was hijacked from Boston no confirmation yet on the impact of the second this plane about the and Marsha are you with us again yeah I have to tell you I have to break in apparently the Pentagon was also hit by an airplane uh, the thing that caused the crash the, the Pentagon to on fire was another aircraft that crashed into the Pentagon so right now and the so right now we have to recap we have three planes two hitting the World Trade Center, one hitting the Pentagon in Washington. As a result of that, the west wing of the White House is being evacuated, the Pentagon is being evacuated, and as I've already told you, the United Nations and the Stock Exchange have been evacuated as well. I think you can look for further evacuations of major U.S. installations around the country. Again, FBI offices all across this country are on high alert. They're trying to protect New York City landmarks, I mean, uh, national landmarks, New York City landmarks, and also uh, important buildings around this, this country. I think they'll also be... Uh, because of what's going on now in our country, that uh, we're just going to come back and, and be with you. Uh, the Pentagon has just been it's attacked. Hit by a plane. Hit by a plane. The World Trade Center has been hit by two planes. This is what we know so far. And uh, I got to tell you, evacuated the White House. Hey, let me put on the sound. On the other side of the screen, you can see the World Trade Center, which was hit by two two planes. The first plane that hit the World Trade Center was a plane that was hijacked from Boston. As a result of that, we can also tell you that Logan Airport in Boston has also been closed. Wow. New York City airports are closed. Bridges and tunnels coming into Manhattan. What's going to be next? All been closed. Anything, Anything can that could happen. Be a now. further terrorist target is now being closed down as New York City and a Apparently the capital go into the Pentagon. How do they get a plane through to the Pentagon? That's what I want to know. Well, Isn't that what? The Washington the Mall. So there's only there's now two. How is the Pentagon? Forty eight minutes since the first attack on the World Trade Center. And they got a plane through. And they got a plane through. Now whether this is terrorism? Well, we know it's terrorism, and I'm telling you, a country has to be. You know, this reminds me of Japan attacked us in World War II, Pearl Harbor. They were the only country ever to attack the United States like this. And we took an A-bomb and we blew the, 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 the daylights out of them. Out. Harry Truman knew. They were still screwing around four at the end of the war. It was four years later. Four years later, they dropped an atomic bomb on their ass. And we got to drop atomic bombs. There's got to be a war. Yeah, That's like, all there a, is a, a, but a devastating war where yeah, people we, die. No stopping this. Burn their eyes out with atomic bombs. And about casual, uh, casual yeah. and uh, about how you, civilian civilians. Casualties.
far, far We got civilian casualties. People work in the truck. If this guy Bush doesn't go to war right now, I'm telling you but that... You, got, you still gotta, you gotta know where to go. We know where well, to go. you know what? Don't you know? If they didn't do it, they better surrender right away. Yeah, they should all surrender right now. I'd rather Martin Sheen stepped up than Bush right now. Vinny, be quiet. Vinny, where did you come from? Right? Vinny Vinny Penn. Vinny Penn is still trying to be funny. He's like, hey, this was my day to be funny. This is my shot. Well, you know, in all fairness, he hasn't been here in three months, and he may not be back for another three. He's going to, he's going to make the most time. Right, Vinny, you make all the jokes you want. We understand. Wait. As you look live at New York City's the Pentagon center buildings on f uh, fire from a the Pentagon is on fire. That's brazen. I mean, to attack the Pentagon, is. It, it's brazen. It's like we don't American care. Airlines. That is the seat of our military. Yeah. yeah. Had been hijacked. The second airplane was trying like to get That's like scoping at us as those the super they, they are, are we laughing. done? I mean, do you think there's something else coming? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Look, who knew that this was going to happen? The Pentagon. How are they getting all these planes? That's why they're evacuating the White House. This is serious. Very serious. Black smoke. Our president can't go home tonight. That aircraft was hit just a few moments ago, 9:40 this morning. Should point out. He doesn't want to go home. He wants to be on that ranch anyway. Washington Mall. Uh, no confirmation as to the cause of that. And the west wing of the White House and the Capitol buildings have been evacuated. Uh, All these countries are jealous of us, our way of life. They want us to be miserable like they are. Right. And we are now miserable. And now is the time to not even ask questions. Nope. Just to be pissed off and drop a few atom bombs, do a couple of chemical warfare hits. Let their people burn and suffer until but they understand. our stores of everything because we haven't been bothering anybody. Right. They started screaming about colonialism. We stopped. John Slattery, I'm sorry. You're right. Dominic, what is it? I don't know why I'm going to you, but... California. Why? Yeah. yeah. Something in the Midwest. Yeah. There's something in the West, Chicago, something in L.A., West. Chicago. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's, there's obvious targets, but you mean Chicago, L.A.? Chicago or, or something in... in Boy, they're going to every... The, the Pentagon! They're what doing be... it. They shut down Wall Street. Can you imagine they bombed... The, they actually crashed into the Pentagon. Pentagon. How do you get to do that? I thought that that's like so... Like that airspace is completely protected. Um, and how are they not on alert? Well, right. everybody's that's, on that's alert that's now. I mean, it's 48 minutes later. I mean, so what? I mean, that's no, certainly I, I, enough time. I, I, I'm saying that. Yeah. I'm agreeing with you. You know, this is a huge country to try to protect, though. I know. But the Pentagon is a target that is, is considered a highly uh, uh, desirable. desirable target. But you know what? They probably are sitting there going, nobody would ever do this. Just like they did during World War II. After the White House, what's the next biggest target? It's got to be the Pentagon, right? Yeah. What's bigger than that? Pentagon is bigger than the White House. It's where we have our nuclear capability. Now, do, where do where does the all the cabinet and the president go when you evacuate them? Where do they, they go? They have bunkers. They have if a, they have to. They have bunkers. <laughs> what do you have, Baba Boo? Yeah, we, we have the top. We can go to your apartment. We get a better view when the plane comes. Yeah. Hey, can you imagine if there was something in those planes that crashed? You know there was something in there. No, no, no. I'm saying people. Like, no, like a chemical or something like oh, that. That's supposed to spread. That's right. That's, that's right. all they need. If no, no. He's got a point. What if there's some killer gas in there? Some some chemical. We'd That's a good point. I think, I think be be, yeah, we'd already be dead. No, we're nothing, there's no air in this building. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> the Not only to make a joke. We're we're the only only left air left I swear to you, I'm getting queasy. Oh, I yeah, there's there's really... every reason to I'm be. I'm having trouble breathing. I had... There's every reason to be. I, I was Who do I sue? We are under attack like <laughs> never before. How would it be the only casualty? No, I'm telling you, I'm starting to get agitated. Well, don't have a heart attack before you find out what's going I feel like I'm very angry. I know. We need to do a paper bag. I'm very angry. I feel that people need to suffer now. It's scary. We have to protect our way of life. That's exactly true, Howard. No you'll get no argument there. Well, you'll see. They'll do nothing. No, 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 no. no I think no. you're wrong. Here at Bellevue you Hospital, bet, you know they're better expecting... Be if listen, you listen up. So far, two have arrived here. It seemed that the injuries were minor. I feel like I'm watching a movie that this can't be real. A long time ago, and yeah. alarms yeah, were right, going yeah. off. Right now, they're on external disaster, a very high alert at this hospital. Everybody doing in gearing up for this disaster. And uh, here on the FDR, co continuously, there are sirens just whizzing by, police cars, fire... Can I say something? Uh, I'm trying to think who is it that could talk to us right now to try to calm us down. The only person I can think of is on the phone, uh, Cabby, Crazy Cabby. Yes, Cabby. Can you make sense of all this? Yes. Cabby. Howard, yeah. Uh, I live in Brooklyn. And I'm standing on the roof of my building, and it, it's disgustingly sick what is going on. The, what, who, who did this, first of all? And second of all, it's time to stop toying and letting these right. people 
come into our country and blow things up and do it all over the world. You know, we keep guys like Osama bin Laden around because we need enemies. We need a reason to build bombs. And I swear to God, if this isn't a reason to wipe out every freaking terrorist on the planet Earth, today we have the technology. We, ha we know where they are. We can do it. It's just do it. We're afraid of uh, the world reaction. Now, now, don't be afraid. Screw them. That's what I say. Screw the rest of the world. It, I mean, you talk about attacking us at our heart. We're, we're on the building with binoculars, and somebody said they actually saw, they think they saw somebody jump out of the building because the building's on fire. Oh, my God. This is just un... This is... Uh, I can't... I, I'm in shock. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in I, shock, I, I too. And I'll tell you one thing. I'm getting increasingly you know uh, woozy from this. And they're closing down all of Manhattan. We will look not the, be let off this island. Look at it. Look at that. Look at, thing. Look at the right. look at the burning Pentagon. Yeah, the know. Pentagon you can't even see. Right, it's been engulfed. Did they hit the Pentagon too? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You better go back inside. They just man. blew up the Pentagon. Oh my God. A plane hit the Pentagon. The Pentagon has been hit by an airplane. Uh, Forty-eight minutes after the World Trade Center was hit by two you planes. Know, right. They you are evacuating the West Wing of the White House. It's time to stop screwing around with these people. And I'm I'm talking all the way yeah, down to the They're begging Saddam for it. Yeah. In countries like Yemen and the United yes. Arab Emirates who house these people and yes. let these people do this. All of them. Blow them they all to sky high. They are begging us for Adam major bombs. attention. Uh, Adam bombs. Nuclear strikes all over the nuclear world. Nuclear war. Just, just do it so that they're flattened out and it turns into a paved road. And, and we we'll take the oil for ourselves. Parks over there. And we'll take the oil for ourselves, by the way. This is a good excuse. How could a plane hit the Pentagon? Well, that's a that's wonderful right. question. How could a plane hit a Pentagon 48 minutes after the World Trade Center has been attacked? No, no because it's probably not. a commercial airline that was hijacked. Think of all the people on, on, they on these planes. They just said a plane was hijacked from Boston. One of Seven, these planes. 767 is, uh, I called my wife, again. and she said the report they heard, she heard was that it was a 767 out of Boston, oh and that is probably that's the first one. That, that's, I think that's the second one. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Tabby, thanks for the call. Howard, this is... This I know. One of I don't the even. Travesty to ever hit the world. It is the one. It, it, it's certainly the biggest travesty in our lifetime. Oh, I can't absolutely. believe it. I, I, I'm disgusted by humans, and, and, and we better take care of business, or, or, or we're all lost. Yeah, our way of life will be destroyed. Absolutely. We are now. Now we have to sit in fear. Exactly. Now it's time to get busy. On the planet, if we sit we in fear, we deserve to have our lives destroyed. Right. Don't sit and listen to these other countries like France. You fakes. Wait and see. Yeah. How many times do we bail their ass out? And they house terrorists too. Oh, absolutely. Get rid of them too. Well, you know what? Just blow them all up. There's debris uh, falling onto the street from the World Trade Center. Flames and smoke from both towers. I can see it from my. Uh, I'm standing on the roof of my building. It's, all right. It's, it makes me cry. It's sad. All right. Thanks, Kevin. An uh, evacuation has been ordered at the United Nations. Now, now they're getting everybody out of every tall building. Right. Hey, hey Howard. CNN just also reported that they closed every airport in the country. Good. So, Absolutely. Let's get no busy. Time to be flying around. See anything up there? Shoot it down. Yeah, Dominic. Right. What's next? What is next? I never thought the Pentagon. Jeez. See, you can't get... There's no getting off Manhattan now. Everything's closed. If they plan three, they can do five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They could be uh, all day long with this. This could be going on every day now unless we act swiftly. And no investigation. You know what countries hate us. You see what I say? Uh, see, I'm yeah. always, you know, considered an extremist. But I say you declare war on everybody and then whoever surrenders doesn't get killed. Right. But how do you kill every son and child? I would. Because they would. grow up to be terrorists. You know which countries have to be flattened out. They're in collusion. If Bin Laden is behind this, boy, did he show us something. They raised them to be terrorists. It's not only Bin Laden. It's all those guys over there. They're yeah, wise there's somebody listening to him. He doesn't do this on his own. No. He doesn't go out and bomb anything. He's, right, he's alive. He's got people killing yeah, himself. Exactly. Him. Do you realize how many TV stations are actually knocked out? No, I don't. How many? Five. Seven. Oh, they're knocked out? Out. Channel 7's yeah. not on the air? Out. Oh, my God. No. What's on the air? Two? Two. How is CBS on? Channel 2's the only one on. Two, and I believe... They're on the Empire State Building. Wait a minute. Wow. Nine is out. Look at that. Eleven is out. That is amazing. Wow. Well, Channel uh, two is the only one broadcasting here in New York. Five is out. Four is out. Hold on. Let me bring up some sound. What is it? Hey, uh, really important. Robin's driver is leaving, and he doesn't care how she gets home. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, he's going. Well, why don't you go?
Oh, that's Robin, hysterical. He's leaving right I'll now. Be, I'll be fine. But, well, Robin, you can't get home. I know. Everything's closed. closed. Robin, you can stay at my apartment. No, I that's hear, all right. You, know, you hear such conflicting <laughs> stuff, Howard. Scott said that, uh, that he, he heard somewhere, that Scott the engineer, that everything's open going outbound, that they want everyone out of the city. But well, I just saw that they closed the battery tunnel. But the, but that can't, that can't be true. If anybody needs to leave, go ahead. I'll uh, you know, I'll, we go? I'll hold down the right. fort. I, I, you know, I went upstairs and told everybody that as well, and it's everybody saying, where am I going to go? No. You know, that they, could they create rather, pandemonium if everyone rather started be trying here. to get out. Oh, right, it'll you be know, like a Sylvester Stallone movie in the tunnels. Does that mean I'm trapped here with Tom? <laughs> now we'd better go to war. Let's have lunch. Right. I know a really nice, quiet place for lunch. Yeah, I bet prices Everybody. are cheap today. Here is that uh, they were both suicide flights going in, and as I said before, there's uh, unconfirmed word that even a third plane was on its way here. The disposition of that we don't know. Wow. The studio, I can't hear you right now, but let me let me go back to you. A third plane was on its way. Maybe, and maybe and, uh, they stopped in Lower Manhattan. Giving us uh, our first account of things from ground. Level. Let's go back to the newsroom now, Marcia. We're sitting ducks. Following the uh, developments well, you from that, that moving vantage in point, Marcia. Well, we're now getting some some picture of the breadth of this national catastrophe. Oh. First of all, the White House was evacuated. The entire White House, after the Secret Service received a credible threat. I repeat, a credible threat of a terrorist act against the presidential mansion and residence. But Man. that's not the only building that's been evacuated. We now can report that the State Department, the Capitol, and yes. the Treasury buildings are also being evacuated and believe it or not in Los Angeles they are on a tactical alert oh, yeah. and they are starting to evacuate key buildings everywhere everywhere All bridges and tunnels closed we're sitting in ducks Manhattan. no 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 it says into, into. it says into, into Manhattan. Manhattan yeah into it's out to why would it's going to yeah, it's going to how are you going to get out yeah eric you're on the air hey Howard, Dominic is wrong channel 7 is on the air channel 9 is off the air come on we'll see what happens all right thank you okay Yes, Zolar, you're on the air. <laughs> oh, thank God you took my call, Howard. Now I'm looking at seven, I'm looking at five, I'm looking at two, I'm looking at four. Let me tell you something, Howard. One word wow. on the news. Oh, no. Me. Wait a second. What oh happened? Tom, what happened? Oh, my God. What just oh happened? Oh, my God. What oh, the just happened? Look at that. Oh, the whole World Trade Center just collapsed. Yeah, I'm looking oh. at it on Channel 7. Oh, my, oh God. my God. The whole thing just oh completely dropped. Goodness. It actually collapsed. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Anybody who had a chance of getting out of there. It collapsed. That's oh gone. Have a chance God. now. Oh Are you watching the footage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's horrific. The whole thing just collapsed. What? Oh, everything oh around God. there is in danger. Let me put up the sound for a second so we can hear what's going on. on microphone from Chopper 2 as he okay. takes these pictures. Jim? Yes, I, I am here, oh. Michael. Jim, tell us, tell us what's happening out there. Oh, my We gosh. just witnessed oh. some kind of second. Secondary uh, follow-up explosion on the World Trade Center number two, the one Secondary. on the south that is difficult to make out through the debris and smoke, but it does appear that a portion, the top portion of the building has collapsed down to the streets below. Uh. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable what we have seen here, the debris and smoke oh. just covering the entire portion of lower oh. Manhattan. Oh, my gosh. Jim, we know this is terribly difficult for everybody. Oh. We're asking that you please stay with us. Hold your oh. shot. Stay with us uh, on audio. We should tell people our crews have been uh, running from that scene, as have everybody and, and the entire oh my God. Been oh, under an evacuation for some time. And just moments ago, you saw it here live oh, from Chopper 2, a horrific scene as one of the towers there appears to have collapsed. Uh, from what had happened earlier, a, a quick chronology as you continue to look live, just before 9 o'clock this morning, word of a plane crash into Tower 1 that had been confirmed to 757, hijacked out of Boston, oh. was the first impact. 18 minutes later, a second plane right. impacted Tower wow. 2. Wow. Not long after that. There's tape of that, of that second crash. Not, not long after the second impact that you will see here on tape, happening 18 minutes after the first impact and then was the fire at the Pentagon. Right, about 9.30 this morning. Also uh, confirmed the at collapse. least We're from showing the Associated you. This is the Press. collapse, ladies look, and gentlemen, look on at video that. tape. The whole middle of the, the building just came happened. out. Unbelievable. It's like an implosion, right? Let's yeah. go to Marsha yeah. Kramer now in the newsroom as she watches what you're seeing at home right now, Marsha. Well, the real concern right now for New York City emergency rescue squads is to get people on the ground away from that scene as soon as possible. If you live in the area, if you live in Battery Park City or any of the other housing developments in that area, 
you should leave the area. You should evacuate the area and get away from the scene. Right now, po police have to determine... If oh, my God. The whole World Trade Center just imploded and went down. The whole building's gone. It's just gone. It's gone, and people are in there. Oh, not, yeah. Not anymore. Hopefully, yeah. they, hopefully they were out. It's nah, no way. No way they, they got out. They evacuated that entire building with no. the fire going No way. They had an hour. Oh, no way. I'm sorry. What is it, Dominic? Look at that picture on 2. Did you ever think you'd see that in the light? No. It's, it's really war. It's like a nuclear bomb. It's a yeah, it really is. It's, you know, it's so beyond Pearl Harbor. It's just so beyond. It that. is beyond Pearl Harbor. The entire city is covered with. Smoke. At least Pearl Harbor was. And the Pentagon's on fire. Uh, you know, uh, right. Installation. What went on at the Pentagon? The, the plane crashed into the Pentagon. Yes. yes. Oh. And now they're saying there's a, one other plane on the radio. They think is still up there. Oh and no. I'm really? Not down yet? There must have been a third target in New York. Zolar, go ahead. Finish your thought. Yeah, oh my God. I'm There's no thought. Howard, and yeah. I'll tell you what, uh, first second I hear on the news that it has anything to do with a towel head or a dot head bastard, I'm going to go out there and start going to those a rap stores or I'm going to start oh, kicking. Stop. No, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Don't say that, Zola. So, hey, I call all Americans to get your arms together, baby. Get out there on the streets and go to your local freaking deli. I, right. I got him. He's just upset. I understand, but he's an idiot. No. It's like we keep looking at this and we think to ourselves, how much worse can it get? And every 10 minutes it gets worse. It's getting bad. Yeah. Cabby. Howard, we were standing here and we were just discussing uh, the things that were going on. And the second building just crumbled right in front of us. It did. I know. And how many people on the ground or, or other buildings were affected by that? Yeah, it's the whole area. It's a 110-story building. There's another plane behind it. I don't know if you just saw it in the air. Yeah, what is that? Plane That's got to be one of our planes, right? Well, it's I think no that, fly zone. That was, chopper, I, I noticed that about 10 or 15 No, no, not ago. a chopper. No. There was a chopper originally, and then they cleared the whole area. Mm. The, the, the World Trade Center is not standing. Not, uh, Downtown is completely covered by a cloud of smoke. Here's Ed Moyer. He's coming to get home. This is our world. That siren is our world. This is a disgusting display that is humanity right here. Oh, yeah. What are you going to say here? There's you nothing to be anything. said. Um, I don't know what we're good do. What good it is to have us on the air right now. I don't know. Uh, They're don't not know. letting anybody into the city, are they? No. Tom, I don't think it does any good to have us on the air the, now, does the it? The only thing I'd say about having you on the air, it's a, it's a place for people to come. Right. Especially talk. people in other cities. You know, um, it becomes a big encounter session. If you want to continue that. All right, I'll stay on the air for a while. I don't know. I'm sure everyone's... If you want, as long as they're not going to Abandon us for a news station? No. Did you see that picture, Howard? That footage. Cabby. I can't even believe this. Cabby, where are you right now? I'm, I live in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, right next to the Williamsburg Bridge. So my view of downtown, I, I, I have a complete view of everything that's going on right now. I'm on my roof. <laughs> And the, uh, all the traffic has been obviously stopped going into the city, and everybody seems to be making a quick exodus out of the city. Please. And right now, you can't even see downtown. It's completely covered with smoke yeah. from the, uh, the collapse of one of the greatest buildings ever built because of the ignorance of humanity. Uh, if any of uh, my staff has to leave, because they're still letting people out of the city, you should go. Well, I already lost my driver. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Uh, okay. He always says, Robin, I'll take a bullet for you. See ya. Yeah. Bye. Not a bum. I mean, do you I'm, think I'm it's worth sure making an attempt? Do you think it's worth subway making an close. attempt to go home? Yeah, you should go do it. You, right. yeah, go you do got it. A I would say go, go be with your family. Yeah. Absolutely. I would go do it. And, uh... <sighs> Subways are closed. Where's Casey going? He has no family to go. Casey, you have no family. Get over here. I hear you. He runs out with Gary. And Howard, obviously, if you want to go, we'll. We'll fill. I got nowhere to go. Okay. Casey's going to OTB. What about yeah. guys in a situation <laughs> like me? The horses aren't running. Cab it out and take a train and. Well, good luck. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't think you, you, Vinny. I think you're here for good. We better good. get a hotel room together. That means then. I can do the show again tomorrow, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> <He's available. laughs> I don't even know what'll be tomorrow. Yeah. Really, I mean, may seriously. Not be here tomorrow with this going on. So we might have a state of martial law by tomorrow. Uh, That's right. And, and we probably should. I don't know you know, I want to hear from our president again. Yeah. Yeah, where is it? Yeah. Oh, never mind. I, 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 I We know where he is. Yeah, you got to get behind the president now. Doug, what's the uh, what's your what's your story? Oh my God, dude! Like, 
I, well, I just can't even talk. We were just, I was just on my roof in my building, and we watching. We actually saw the bu building buckle a little bit. Yeah. And then we came down, and we, right when we went on, the freaking building collapsed. But the, uh, I mean, just think of all the countless amount of people on the ground right. within 25 blocks, and all the emergency workers, the police, the firemen, they're, they're probably gone. Overwhelmed right. at this point. They're they gone. Said the, and you know what uh, pisses me off the most is our freaking president. What the heck? What a softy. Oh, well, the, that. let's, let's not even get to that yet. Yeah. Let's see what he does. I guarantee you. Let me just and, say. Uh, they're also, our president. There was word, this is completely, completely unconfirmed, but Governor Pataki has an office in, um, in the World Trade Center. In the World Trade Center. Yeah. Uh, it's not known. I don't know. If, no, if the president said time. he had talked to the oh, governor of good. New York. Okay. Yeah, they spoke. Um, and it, it is the most eerie thing. You look up on my rooftop, which overlooks the whole city, and, I mean, the streets are just empty. It's just a parade of... of the and devastation and is... And fire truck, it, it's just... It's the building beyond, collapsing. I mean, it's hard to even speak. Hit yeah. other buildings in the area. I'm having difficulty but just uh, think, like the, having the anything to say. The I countless amount of people in that, in that zone that where the building collapsed. Oh, the there the signs of air. There's no air going in there. Right now. Yeah. They have... Yeah, I hear they closed all bridges and tunnels either way. They're, they're, oh, they did. You're not going to be able to yeah. get. Tell Gary to uh, I did. I abandon I just, that. I just, I just pulled them back from coming. If anyone needs somewhere to come, they can come up to my building if they are uh, yeah. stuck. Well, yeah. And uh, I'll have everyone but Benji. I suggest people. This is really sad. I, I, no, I just feel like crying, Howard. I mean, no, of course you do. I, this really is all. This is unreal. Sad. I mean, this, of course you feel like crying. This is this is absurd. This is our country. Do you knew this was coming? What did we do that was so wrong? We, were we did nothing. A good time. We did nothing wrong. And you know when they did it, Howard? These are people who yeah, live you know in countries Howard, where they're, they're enslaved. They're going to say that we've uh, that we participated in terrorist acts. Who cares? Well, you know what? You know, Now's the matter. time to stop their you rhetoric. Know, that's their religion. This is our religion. Now you got for the first time you got the excuse to really wipe out Absolutely. these animals. Absolutely. You know, animal do countries. Do not, not, uh, don't target Osama yeah, bin Laden. Howard, do you realize how many people are probably, uh, you know, uh, dead or injured from Thousands. This? Oh, but thousands. You know what? You, look at the collapse of this. Uh, the thing you ought to think about is the people who are cheering that this happened. Uh, on All around the world. Anybody, anybody the world. who's cheering And this. they should be gotten right now. Howard, Howard it's yeah. at the point There's now where... 16 flying overhead now. Hold it a second. jets in the Good. air. There are military jets in the there are air? military jets in the air. Let me see. I'm sorry. It's an F-15, which is an interceptor jet, which is meant to take out other aircraft. Right. I'm telling you, there's still one plane somewhere. Yeah, they said that there was a third plane. That they thought was headed here. Well, they're here. obviously flying, and they're going to take it down. Yeah, well, they got to, and how are they going to take it down? They're going to have to take it out down over Manhattan. Which means there's probably people on the plane. That's right. Well, that's the problem. They will, they will take out those people on the plane. And, and, and At this point, you have to. Yeah, oh you, you have to. It's this called is collateral a, damage, and they're going to have to do it. This is devastating. Uh, if there is a third plane still in the air, there, it's probably a hijacked plane with people on it. The military is going to have to shoot it down. They won't even get close to Manhattan now because there's Air Force up in the air. Right. Yeah, but but, but what you is know it? what? That's what they intended to do. They intended to take probably people with uh, planes with people on them right. as a you know as uh, insurance to keep themselves from being shot down before they so they could hit a target. Yeah. And you know what? So so if they get over the tip of Manhattan somewhere else and we have to shoot them down and a bunch of people let die me, there, uh, they've still done their let job. Let me reca recap. Planes have crashed into the World Trade Center. Two of them. Uh, one at 9 o'clock, roughly a little before 9 o'clock. Then a second plane went into the building. About 18 minutes later. 48 minutes later, the Pentagon was attacked. And one of the one of the World Trade Centers now is non-existent. It's yeah. collapsed. Yeah. And the other one is basically yeah, gone. Doesn't have a chance. They say even a third plane could be up in the air. All airports have been closed. Uh, everything in and out of Manhattan is closed down. We're here in Manhattan broadcasting, you know, Howard, obviously. You know, they say three planes, but three planes already crashed. You know, already. I think maybe that's the only three. Well, would you no, ever predict the Pentagon? Never. No, I mean, they who thought knows? there was a third one here. What's that noise? That's a, that's one of the military wow. jets that's circling oh, over the tip, tip of Manhattan and the tip of Brooklyn. Howard, this this is a building. It's got to be shot. This has become one of those movies. Yeah. I mean, the planes are flying over our home. Yeah. That is a war plane. It's a war plane. We're at war. We just don't know with who. You know what's terrifying is that it's just a matter of seconds. We're watching the twin tower, this, the other tower burn. It's, it's coming down oh, within yeah. minutes. No. You know that. There's going to be another collapse. Yeah, I hope no, to hell people are just the getting the out of that area. How? Howard, now there's debris they can. all over the ground, and other buildings in that area are affected. It's it's, it's complete yeah, devastation. Howard. They must be trying to find that other plane that they're circling like that. How many people do you think were in that World Trade Center at the time of this attack? The two World Trade Centers together got to be over 
75, 100,000 people? I mean, it's a they lot of people. 50,000 people work yeah, in the two buildings. Yeah, between 50 and 70,000 work in the two world trades. But right. the, and the, the only thing we can it. hope is that... that it, well, wait a second. There's another report coming in. Let me say Speculation obviously going on. Uh, it has the, uh, um, the markings of a, a Middle East uh, act of terrorism. Why well, 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 often in the Middle East, uh, when there's a bombing, a suicide bombing or a car bombing, uh, you'll find a second bomb going off um, when the emergency response crews uh, respond. Oh. Right. Which cause maximum. <laughs> Which just happened. They are so sweet, those people. Uh, this is our uh, worst case scenario. This is something. A fourth plane has just crashed into. In the security industry. I'm not sure where. Uh, this is something. The fourth plane uh, uh, And someone's on. Let me let me see. Someone's on the phone saying that uh, Palestine and that Ben Sama Bin Laden guy is claiming responsibility. Whatever his name is. Oh, the second plane was in Jersey. Uh, right. Both from an investigative. Standpoint Hold on, I'll get to that guy. From a response standpoint. Uh, is um, lower is going another to be, explosion hits uh, lower Manhattan? Oh my God! Impossible. Clearly, you can only do so much. Hold on, let me let me see what this guy's saying. Uh, yeah, Bob. Bob, are you there? Bob. Okay, hold it a second. Wait, Bob. Hello. Yeah, you there? Yeah, Howard, I'm here. All right, what what's you what's what's this fourth plane? Well, uh, it just it's just being broadcast now, Howard, that a fourth plane. Uh, the, the two that hit the World Trade Center, then there was one at the Pentagon, and now a fourth plane has crashed into the South Tower and actually made the tower fall. Is that right? Oh, that was a... They're saying, they're saying that, and they're also saying that the Palestinians and Osama bin Laden are, are claiming responsibility for this. They've come out and said that they are the ones doing this. Well, let's... Not done yet. Then let Israel they're loose. Yet. They're not done yet. Let Israel loose. Let Israel lose. Israel we have to do this. Israel. Let the U.S. lose. Let, let me tell you something. We have to go to war it can be with taken. With it can be taken care of in an hour. We could wipe them off the no, face of the you earth. You don't want government who will allow this to happen hour, again to stand. An hour is too long, Howard. An hour, in an hour from now, they could have six more planes crash into the city. Where is the, the fourth plane hit, Howard? The fourth plane crashed where? Into, Into the, the World South Trade Center. Tower. Into the South Tower. The one that collapsed. The one that just collapsed. The reason for that devastating collapse was not an implosion. He's saying it was a fourth plane. That's what's on the news. How could, could, that, how how could, how could a fourth plane yeah, that possibly, possibly get through? Going. I'll tell you how. Because they have hostages on there. Whatever the confusion is in this moment, we are not prepared for this kind of devastating attack. Because... The Air Force was not in place. I have questions, though. Why are these huge planes flying yes. out of airports, hijacked, and nobody knows anything? FBI knew about one of them. No, but there's uh, control towers that these planes there are leaving is. their Wait, flight Wait, here plan. it is. Third blast brought down tower. Third blast. Oh. Maybe not from a plane. Maybe not from a plane. Because the building could have blown up just because of the fire alone. Well, they could have had a bomb on the plane. Yeah, because that looked like a bomb. I think what you're hearing in our background is Cabby is out in uh, Brooklyn, and you can hear the uh, yeah. you can hear military planes going over. You can hear emergency crews. Howard, let me. I just have a quick question. Do you think that these pilots? I mean, do you think the pilots might have been, you know, killed and taken? I don't see any, you know. American yeah, an American would not fly into a building. Probably killed the pilot. And just yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would not see any pilot actually saying, "Okay, I'd rather, you know, crash the build, you know, crash into a building than just die." Dude, how do you hijack well, planes that of, quickly? I gotta like, tell you, a lot of pilots aren't American. Well, that's true. Oh, yeah. well, Gary, you're absolutely right. We got guys living in this country who are terrorists, and we let them in every day, and it's and just New York City's full. Yep. Yeah, I mean, remember that Egyptian air right. crash where it's the guy, thing. the co-pilot, took over. Yeah, but you'd think. You know what? I mean? you, you wouldn't think that. You think that they know these people. The CIA knows how many times of someone takes they a do. Thumb. All right. You don't know if a, if a guy is is you know. But it does. It's odd that planes can leave their flight path. Take off unauthorized and to do any of the stuff they'd need to do, and nobody knew. Howard, Let me get organized here for a second. Let me get organized for a second. Bob, I'm going to say goodbye to you, okay? Got it, Howard. Okay. Bye. All right. Doug. Yeah. I'm saying goodbye to you. Okay. All right. Howard, don't you think that... I Gabby, stay on. I know right. that it's bedlam. I know that it's going crazy, but don't you think, as busy as he is, the president needs to be telling us... So, don't you think we need to see him to know? I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I think that I don't think the president needs to be out right now. Yeah, I think no, I think the president needs to be in a war room planning his attack. Yeah, that's exactly right. We don't need to know. Yeah, I feel like I'm assuming he's not on his ranch right now. I feel like I need to hear from somebody from the government that tells me they have some clue. I don't clue think, Gary, there's no clue. 
Yeah, Who knows? Yeah, but you don't want to telegraph either. That's right. You can't get on and announce what you're going to do. You know what you don't no, realize, Howard? We're aware of what's going on. We, you know, we don't think there's any more planes. I mean, I, I don't know. This building can blow up in a he second. Know that, that building went yeah, down, and now you feel. control the fires that are now uh, surrounded the Twin Towers. All those other buildings are probably. Let gone. me go back to uh, CBS News and see what we can learn. Believe it or not, explo uh, reporting an explosion on Capitol Hill. Fortunately, uh, the explosion happened after uh, Capitol Police had started to evacuate the Capitol. We don't know if any of the, the uh, senators or representatives were Is this a new explosion? An explosion on Capitol Hill. There is another explosion. That makes two explosions and a fire in Washington. The explosion at the Pentagon that we've confirmed was caused by a plane. An explosion at the Capitol. We don't know what caused it. And a fire on the Washington Mall. We don't know what caused that. But the fact that there have been so many attacks would seem to indicate that there are people on the ground as well as in the air that are helping to set off and if to participate. This is an organized... Somebody is at war with us. This is an organized wait, 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 wait. effort. If you, if you could, could you please reiterate the information you had regarding uh, All right, listen again. schools in the uh, lower Manhattan area? Well, w what we're told is that there are three schools in the lower Manhattan area. There is Stuyvesant High School, which is a high school for gifted students, yeah. and there are two elementary schools that are also... So in that area, they're in the Batteries Park City complex. What we're told right now is that the kids are safe, the kids are in uh, the classrooms, but parents who want to go and take their kids home are going to be permitted to do so. Damn right. Um, yes, yeah, as, as you of, know. of right now, I don't know what they're going to find when they get to this. What? what? Yeah. yeah, one more. The, on, on, uh, the Capitol. The Capitol's been bombed. I also said Washington Mall is on fire. Now, Wipe them all out, man. What? Wipe them out. Right. Every one of them. Tactical right. nukes. Thanks, Cabby. Howard? Yeah. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I, 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 I want to hurt somebody right now. All right. Well, listen, we're all feeling the same way. Let's see what happens. You know, when I hear my dad... Cabby, call me back if anything else. All the phone lines are almost all yeah, down. I'll, I'll uh, go, really? uh, don't forget to listen to Kane's show for... Wait a second, Cabby. You might as well stay on because I'm learning now that all the phone lines are almost all down. Yeah, they are, well, I couldn't get through on my cell phone at all. Nobody up here has any phone. Yeah. I, I'm on mine. And, you and Dominic, are, I, I mean, I see... Let me see if there's anybody else able to even get through. Look at that picture there. The face Give me a second here. Completely changed. Yeah, let me, let, me, let me see what's going on here. Hi. Who's this? Hello. Hello? Hello. What's going on? What's going on? You guys You're... keeping in touch with the news? Yeah, we're on touch. Well, hello. Hello? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what this guy's trying to say. He sounds like a... Hi. He's underground. Hello? Hello, can I, um, can I talk to uh, Cabby? Yeah. Go ahead, he's on. Yeah, what's up? Cabby, um, what does Brooklyn look like? My my girlfriend's someplace in there. What is, is that okay out there? Yeah, Brooklyn's fine. It's, uh, they're, they're not, it appears they're not letting anybody into the city. All the bridges out are, are filled with cars. Um, people are trying to walk across the, uh, there's a walkway going into the city. It looks like they're being turned back until they cannot go into the city. Tabby, are people just, like, out on the street? Yeah, there's people everywhere. I mean, I'll walk over to the edge of the building here. And there's cars stopped, and there's people standing on the street. People are talking and, and, and looking up. I mean, that's all you can do right now is look up at the devastation that has been caused. By the way, on my TV set now, I'm still watching the World Trade Center burn. It's basically gone. It's it completely gone. eliminated. That's, 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 the South Tower is completely gone from the skyline. There is nothing there. And there's uh, about, I'd say, a third yeah, of the... the whole top of the building. The, the, yeah, the whole top of the building's on fire on the other one. Yeah, I'd say it's a third of it left. It, it started sort of in the middle of the building. Now the, the top of it is completely in flames. Right. Now, did you get the report that somebody said the last plane crashed at the base of the building? There, there was a third plane that actually set off that second explosion that caused what we thought was an implosion at first. It was the, another plane hit the building and it collapsed. Yeah, hold on. Who just left? I think I lost somebody. Hold on. I think it's because that first plane hit the Hello? center. Of it's okay. I got you. All right. Yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, I come up here every night and I look at these uh, at the at the skyline of Manhattan because it's so beautiful. And, and to see this this morning, I, I mean, I woke up and... I, I'm Cabby. It's, it, I can't even believe it. I I'm, mean, I'm going to. Uh, what I'm, the hell is wrong with people? How? I'm going. I know. I'm going back to the uh, feed. Second crash. 18 minutes later, what we have heard from the Associated Press was a plane out of Newark. Then a third crash at the Pentagon in Washington D.C. and a fire at the Washington Mall. And now. A fifth word that uh, there was an explosion at Capitol Hill, which had since been uh, evacuated, and now 
the sixth incident right now. The State Department apparently had been evacuated as all this was going on, mm. only to find out that there's been a possible explosion there as well. And Michael, I've been told by our guest here, Michael Hirschman, who's the president of an international security and counterterrorism firm, that there's an unidentified aircraft approaching an airport in northern Virginia, possibly Dulles or Washington National Airport. Authorities there are scrambling to find out about that aircraft. An unidentified aircraft oh circling Get rid of it. approaching an airport in northern Virginia. We're not sure which airport that is. Uh, you have Dulles there, you have Reagan International, and um, George, uh, actually those are the two, hot, two airports there, scrambling to find out the nature of that aircraft. Can you tell us any more, Mr. Hirschman? Only that's an unidentified. Well, they taught us a good lesson, yeah, I hope. I hope we've learned something. That's cabby speed right now you're listening to. You can hear the emergency vehicles going off. It's complete bedlam. They're trying to get closer, I believe, by going to the Brooklyn and the uh, Manhattan bridges to get closer into downtown because I'm sure the devastation from the collapse of the building has wiped out. It had to wipe out 20 square blocks around there. Tom, what are you hearing out there? Uh, I'm, my question is, was the first building the, the one that's still up? The second one was where the, the big plane went into the... That's right. Collapse, yeah. right. Yep. And they're saying a possible third plane. Is that... Is, is that I don't think no, that wasn't a third. No. Was it? I, I, it looked like the World Trade Center was almost tipping at one point. It, yeah, it did. I think it was I think Trade Center just doesn't exist I think anymore. It, no, I think the one that's still up looks like it's, it's almost the, buckling. I think that's the one that got hit originally. The U.S. State Department has been evacuated. The Pentagon has been uh, hit by a plane. Let me see. Uh, doctors, nurses, and that they are getting people um, from everywhere into that hospital. It's now called the... That's the bottom line. We don't even know how many people have been killed. Oh. That's all we have here. Right. Yep. Every firefighter is... White House, Capitol, Treasury has been evacuated. FBI security has been tightened across the country. They don't know where the next attack will come from or if there will be one. All the airports are closed in the entire country. Yep. And, and, and just and alert. You realize that this uh, building cr collapsing, uh, it probably collapsed right in on the financial district, which is the oh, yeah. uh, financial hub of the world. Wall yep. Well, that's what they were doing. First, they knocked out the financial district, and then they went after the government. They were in the middle of uh, actually evacuating the financial district and uh, I don't even know how many people got out of there before that building collapsed I mean you're talking a 110 story building falling in on itself yep it, it, it was oh, huge yeah, it's children if you're able to get there obviously the area is still very dangerous mm -hmm. so we caution you against taking in uh, you just put up a graphic it's crashes not, these people wanted to throw us into chaos yeah they have crashes occurred uh, 18 minutes apart what? Mm -hmm. This is not tape at all. This is the only remaining World, World Trade, Trade Center, Center tower. The other collapsing not too long ago. Both victims of plane crashes. The second, uh, the tower rather that has collapsed, that we are told collapsed because of a third. This is chaos. Source yeah. of that, though. And at this have, point, we don't they know. No, be uh, put as a crash anymore. Who's an attack? Right. Yeah. We yeah. Buildings attacked. were attacked. War. This country we had a attack. war. Somebody the is at war with us. At the Washington Mall yeah. and an explosion at Capitol Hill as well as one at the State Department. And we just received late word of a suspicious plane. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And a suspicious plane approaching an airport Shoot in Northern down. Virginia, trying to determine whether that's Dulles right. or Reagan Let's Washington Airport. Yeah. Why can't sure you get in touch with this plane? Authorities, of course, are scrambling to What do you think is going on? You think there are more attacks coming? Sure. Sure, why not wipe out an airport while you're at it? You look live at Chopper 2. You talked about the issue of going down and trying to get... How many people are involved in this? How do they keep it quiet? That's what I'm saying. I don't understand how you... They say now that they got word that there was going to be an attack at the White House. Mm -hmm. what, they didn't alert anybody else? But they well, they, they probably figured the White House they can take care of. Is anybody out there screening my phones? I do see some people are able to get through, not many. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if someone can stay on that. You know, Howard, they got into... All the places that are supposed to be the highest level of security, they got it to the Capitol. Yeah, the this Pentagon. is no this is no amateur hour. I, I mean, don't know. The no. Capitol's confirmed. This was Capitol was bombed. Explosion. Yeah, explosion. Yeah, it's been confirmed. It wasn't a crash. It was an explosion. The they have they, they have people. There's probably on the ground people as yeah. well as in this the air. A people. car bomb at the oh, State yeah, Department. How do you know? Possible car bomb at the State Department. I mean, they now went being the, reported. Our highest level of security. They got it to all of them. That's the thing about terrorism. But wait a second. How did the hell they keep this quiet? Yeah. Right. There's a lot this of many people, people involved. There's going to be hundreds of people involved in this. And there's going to be people who were here for some time. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, you, you don't, don't just hijack an airplane. It's not the easiest thing to do. Yeah. I mean, and to do it simultaneously? Right. Three or you're, four airplanes? And uh, you're not look at how long Japan <laughs> planned to do Pearl Harbor. They right. did as much. Right. They right. did as much work as that. Well, this is a huge undertaking. This is a war. The problem.
problem is we've been talking about Osama bin Laden planning some new major attack on the United States for about a year. And we've been waiting for this. You know, we'll never know till this whole thing is over, but for all we know... Their plans failed miserably, and this is a third of a what, third of what they, they were planning. To do. Right. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Uh, they, the, the world thought they were going to do on New Year's Eve in uh, 1999. Right. Yep. And no. they were smart, and they waited. They waited till a random day in the middle of the week in the middle of September. By the way, uh, well, let's see. Uh, there's not many calls coming through because a lot of phone lines are dead, but Barry's on the phone. He's a paramedic on the way to the World Trade Center. Barry, what do you know? Uh, I don't know too much. I know what you know. I watched the, the collapse on TV. Uh, I'm a paramedic in New Jersey, but we're going, uh, I assume we're going over there. Going How are you going to get in? Uh, I don't know. I guess we're going to use the tunnels. Uh, I'm on my way to where uh, where we get our units in They're Jersey. Hold on a second. Get, uh, hold on a second. John wants to say something. I think they just bombed the building in Jersey. That's what I just heard from, you know. Let me let me go back to the feed and see what's going on. Explosion on Capitol Hill. You know, this is so preliminary. We get so much information that it's going to change throughout the day. And at this point, they're saying no explosion on Capitol Hill. Oh, no explosion. Um, okay. Also, as you mentioned, the international flights are now being diverted to Canada. And air traffic is being stopped everywhere else. Um, that's really all we have right now from the newsroom. Thank okay. you. All hey, right, Howard. Thank you, Sandy. We'll check yeah, What did you hear about Jersey? Uh, a friend of mine just called and said that they just bombed the building in uh, Jersey. I'm not hearing that here. Wait. Yeah. Subways have been closed. We're trying to get an update, especially going to Lower Manhattan. Those have been closed, obviously. The hell is you know how our intern who was answering the phones got mm. so freaked out she had to leave the phones. She's like, she was like, she's flipping out about all this. Well, can someone who's not flipping out? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna phone? go back. I just want to tell you about right. the journey. Uh, bombings and the second plane was from Newark. That was the second Newark plane Airport. that hit the World right. Trade. Yeah. Was open. Mm -hmm. uh, going so out. They hijacked the plane. To go out. Um, one of the concerns, of course, was that uh, the emergency command center was at Seven World Trade Center, which is across the street from Tower One and what was Tower 2, unfortunately, and that the Port Authority was, was based at the World Trade Center. Was Tower two. Um, President Bush <laughs> did comment earlier. He called it an apparent terrorist attack, but then updated that to call it... Uh, seemingly, yeah, yeah, seemingly at this point, quite certain he pledges the government's full support, as right. would be obvious, mm -hmm. for the victims and their families, as well as uh, full-scale investigation to hunt down uh, those hunt responsible. Down. Let's go back to Cindy Hsu in the newsroom. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's the matter? That's the other the tower is gone. Yeah, Hold it a second. Let's hear this. World Trade Tower Center. No more buildings. Collapsed. If Jim Smith is with us still in Chopper 2, Jimmy, you there? What? Michael, we uh, just saw that as well. The second tower, the only one that was standing, tower number one. Just uh, we saw some kind of explosion. A lot of smoke come out of the top of the tower, and then uh, it collapsed down onto the streets below, much like we saw the first tower just about a half hour ago. Gosh, this is an unbelievable. It's incredible, incredulous, incredulous. And truly, as you're looking at the. Oh. <clears throat> If what there is of the Manhattan skyline at this point, oh the two most prominent landmarks, the World Trade Centers, they're gone. reduced to a pile of rubble and ash. They're gone. Above the city. Jim Smith, stay with us, if you will. What it's is like the, knocking uh, It's unfriggin' believable. It changed it's the like face of New York. It's like knocking the have seen the entire lower half of Manhattan just completely covered in smoke, debris, dust, everything well south of Canal Street. It's just completely and covered in this smoke and dust at this time. Uh, there is not anything recognizable of what were the two trade towers, nothing mm -mm -mm. standing out from uh. those clouds of dust. They're gone now. Yeah, I mean, that that's the end of the World Trade Center. What, what have we done so bad to deserve this? No, nothing. Now we're gonna go to the the only thing we've done is... Look at look that. Look at how York. the debris has rained down on the street. Isaac, you're on the air. Hey, Harry. Listen, hey. I was in Israel for a year. This stuff happens every single day. I know. Well, now it's been brought home, and, and this is what uh, the Israelis have been saying, and really the world has not allowed them to wipe out these terrorists. But To be completely honest with you, it's, like, it's, it's almost like to say that all Arabs are bad, that's wrong. But to say that we should stop ourselves from you know, retaliating against Hamas and the PLO and organizations like that, that that's only purpose is to destroy. You know, I mean, in other words, talk about human rights, fine. But this is not about human rights. This is about terrorism. You know, and you have to yeah. fight an army with weapons. There's no way. Yeah, no, you got to take out countries. Frank, you're on the air. Frank. No, Frank, he's gone. I don't know. So a lot of the phone lines are giving us trouble. Mm. I can't make I can't make calls going out. I've made really? a couple. You, if you I keep think, if you keep doing city. it, it's, it, it comes and it goes. But within this the city, is unbelievable. Kathy, yeah. you're on the air. Yeah, Howard. I'm calling from Phoenix. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a kid's perspective. I got a nine year old sister that just called me and asked me. Why do people hate the Americans? Well, because we have everything. 
and we have a way of life that's organized and yeah. free, and it's they're jealous. Private. I mean, it's I an easy question to answer. Yeah. We I have it all. Said, Honey, I'm sorry you have to list stuff like this. Because these other countries live in fear of their leaders. It's unbelievable. They're raised to hate. And we have to now recognize... And we're, they make us responsible for all of their misery. You know, exactly. it's, just, it's no different than when you were a kid growing up and you were beaten. I mean, it's, uh, you either take out those that beat you or you accept it and, you, and the behavior continues. Right. And um, to I, I broadcast, said, you know, live over TV while she's getting ready for school, just, yeah. it hits well, me hard. You know, as Robin pointed out, for a year now, they've all been saying, well, Ben Laden pre is preparing a big attack on the United States. Uh, I don't know if it's been laid in on this particular thing, but who, once I hear he's preparing an attack, level the country, level the country he lives in. Yeah. They're protecting him. Exactly. Why we? Why do we care? We, we're a country that has it all. Now's the time to level. There's too many people in the world anyway. Level them out. And how many other attacks have to happen that's already happened before we do something? I yeah. hope this is enough. Yeah, we're too worried about. Uh, I hope this is enough that we don't care about public opinion. Yeah. And I'm exactly. angry. I'm angry right now. I'm not even trying to. I don't care how the radio show sounds or not. I mean, I just genuinely feel this way. I don't understand if if we are so hated and so at war, and there are people. I mean, what are we waiting for? Yeah. What are we waiting for? Um, Michael, go ahead. I, and then I'm going to get out of here because uh, there's no point in me staying. I'm sure people are tuning to television. Uh, don't you agree, Tom? Hey, hey, you know what? I, I think. For callers like this, if the long, as long as you want to stay, stay. Okay. Because I, I, th I think you've got a, I think you have a significant purpose at this. Okay. Time. All right. Good. All right. Then I'll stay. Michael, you're on the air. Believe that. Uh, Howard, good morning. Um, actually, I have an appointment in Brooklyn this morning. Obviously, I didn't make it, but I've been stuck in my car and uh, down by the courts here, and actually seeing our military is now flying over uh, all of Manhattan. Yeah. Actually, I've noticed three or four planes already. Are you Are you in a dust storm right now? Yeah, basically we were right by the courts over there, and the dust storm was unbelievable. I've gotten out of that area finally now. I'm on my way to the south of the island. But uh, you can see the military flying over, and the police are basically asking everybody to go home, and, you know, stores are closing up, the courts are locked up. Everything is locked up down here in Brooklyn. And Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah this is unreal, and we don't know what else is to come. Hey, Frank, yeah, go ahead. Hey, Howard. Hey. Listen, uh, are most of the antennas located on top of the World Trade Center? Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of antennas are down, right? A lot of the radio stations and television stations can't broadcast. Yeah, yes. Channel 9, Channel 13 are definitely out. Yeah. Uh, and also, the last time we were attacked, a lot of most of the radio stations went off the air. Yes. Why did not occur this time? Uh, I can, I can the, answer uh, because most of them have moved. Yeah. Most yeah. of them are now on um, on another building. Right. Don't even want to say Howard, I got a, I got a question. Building. If you're right. down right in the mix of all that, you know, with the, the smoke and everything like that, I mean, can you breathe in that stuff? No. It's very difficult. That's yeah, we were just watching. A like guy was completely covered in dust. Yeah. I mean, this is probably what... Um, we're, we're watching now. If, you, if you're watching the news on Channel 2, New York is covered. You can't even see Lower Manhattan. Here's uh, Ronnie Munn. Yeah, I'll give you an update on, on downtown. My daughter-in-law works at 25 Broadway, which is like five blocks from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're all sitting in the offices with gas masks on. Oh, my no, God. She can't get out? No. How, where are they getting gas masks from? They, I guess they have them. You know, it's a city office. I guess they have them on, wow. on hand. So you spoke to her inside the building? No, my uh, mother, uh, her mother did. And and she's sitting there with a gas mask yeah, on. Yeah, sitting with gas masks. That's amazing. Howard. Yeah. I'm on. I'm on actually on the Jersey side, looking into New York City from uh, Weehawken Boulevard East. Yeah. You can literally. It looks like a volcano. It does. That's what I'm seeing. It's a volcano it's all over Manhattan. It's Hiroshima. It looks like yeah, an, or something from a natural disaster, an exactly. earthquake, a volcano, something. We're lucky a, a, a nuclear device wasn't dropped onto Manhattan. Yeah. We're, this is nothing compared to what they could have done to us, and we gotta we gotta and go. We're sitting around twiddling our thumbs. We gotta well. Let's, we're gonna kick some serious ass. It's gotta be. The city lacks in security because uh, it's unbelievable that these planes were able to get through. Yeah, well, how do you protect it? I mean, how do you stop it? How do you, st you know how you stop it? You, 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 you regularly go up. As soon as you hear of terrorism going on, you blow up the whole goddamn country. Why should we risk our way of life? Exactly. Let's teach these clowns a lesson. Well, you know, to remind you one more time, these terrorist attacks kept happening during, I think it was the Reagan administration, and he finally just sent bombs over to Libya. That's he it. bombed the country. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's what you got to do. That's enough. It's very you simple. You want to keep these terrorists around, we're going to bomb you. Until you get rid of them. Somebody's paying a price, and he said, you're going to pay the price, and all of a sudden it stopped. Right. Yeah. It wasn't worth the price. That he exactly. Oh, I blow up uh, Iran, those clowns. 
the, the, the Palestinian, all of them, all these, Afghanistan, all these nudniks. Afghanistan, Afghanistan, all of them. The big that's where supposedly yeah, that's, that's where Bin Laden right. is. Yeah. they've been keeping him coming. It's a big joke. They keep these guys and these and these guys pay him off. Blow them all up and, and, and be done with them. And you know what? You won't miss a night's sleep. You won't. Exactly. And and you know, you know, it, it's really as simple as their children over there, and they're spoiled, and they've gotten comfortable. Howard. Yeah. You know, after we got bombed the first time at the World Trade Center. If you went to like all the airports, they had like you could not get your car anywhere near the terminal. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Uh, Even since then, you can well, they've got our government car. running out of buildings. Our government is scared Howard. to fight. What? I'll pick up line twelve because the guy yeah. says that there's a report on Fox right now that there's a plane heading uh, to Washington. Hello. A hijacked plane. What are you hearing? Uh, I'm watching Fox News right now, Howard, and they're saying there's a. Hijack plane in route to Washington right now. All right, let me go up on the news here and uh, we'll see if we can hear anything. All right. Thank you. Yep. We told you that unidentified plane flying to one airport. We're not told which one. Somewhere in northern Virginia. We can only reiterate the developments that have happened to this point. Speaking of developments, Michael, I, gotta, I can't admit uh, what happened in Washington, D.C. Beside the explosion of the plane going into the Pentagon, we heard earlier that there was an explosion at Capitol Hill. We're relieved to say that, that it did not exist, that it did not happen. There was no explosion at Capitol Hill, but we did hear reports earlier that there was a fire at the very popular uh, Washington Mall in Washington, D.C. Cindy Shu is in their news Room. She's keeping up her breast. Where's the pictures of the Pentagon, by the way? Is that blacked out? You know, I'm sure a lot of people are making calls down to friends, uh, lower Manhattan. The phones in the city are overloaded. Do not be surprised if you cannot get through. We're having a lot of trouble on the phone lines. We have okay, an call my wife. On the schools. Now listen carefully. PS, PS, um, PS and IS 89 and PS 2. Holy cow. The students there are being walked to PS 41. <sighs> At 116 West 116 West 11th Street. Let me say that again. Howard, can you hear me? PS That's, and what is your What are you saying? From PS Hello? Wait, 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 wait. What? They're bringing ki kids to my kid's school right now. Right. That's where she is. Oh Hello, how? Yeah. Who's there, Cabby? Hello, who just talked? That was Cabby. Yeah. Uh, he went dead. Wow. Uh, Howard, I'm here. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah, hi. There, uh, the police have gone up on the Williamsburg Bridge. And now people from the walk, there's a walkway that goes across the bridge. They're running back into Brooklyn. I don't know why, but they're running. They're not walking back. Wow. What's going on, Tom? What did you just hear? Uh, I think the part of the Pentagon has collapsed. Part of the Pentagon just collapsed. Uh, there are about 100 people inside of the command center of Bellevue Hospital right now working on patients. We're told there are eight patients here right now. One of those patients is DOA. Uh, they have closed the hospital down to all patients except for those being from this tragic, tragic incident from Lower Manhattan. They say they have the ability to triage hundreds of patients here, but they say they have never had a disaster like this, so they will really be testing their metal under these circumstances. And uh, they have called all Bros, staff, hate all doctors, you. all nurses, all aides. Everyone has Bros, been called into the We hate to interrupt you. We've just been told. A fourth explosion. A fourth explosion. Now in the area World of the Trade World Center. Trade Center. Up. Obviously, neither tower is still standing. We don't know the source of this fourth explosion, but we do have Cindy Shue in the newsroom. Perhaps she can shed a little light on this for us, Cindy. I can't tell you much about the fourth explosion. What I can tell you is happening right now. Twenty minutes ago, a 767 from Pittsburgh was hijacked. We believe that plane is headed towards Washington or... Um, or Northern Virginia. 767 from Pittsburgh was hijacked. Also, a plane has gone down in Pennsylvania. That's according to CNN. A plane down in Pennsylvania. And the Board of Elections, also on the elections, the Board of Elections has canceled today's primary. So voters stay at home. Board of Elections has canceled today's primary. That's the latest now from the newsroom. Right. Well, we mentioned it just a minute, Michael, ago that <clears throat> there was an unidentified aircraft that was approaching an airport in northern, northern Virginia. Apparently it is that 767 from Pittsburgh uh, that's approaching uh, Northern Virginia Airport. Uh, and Cindy, if, if, if you're still there, I just want to clarify, you're saying there was a, there's a plane down, a report of a plane down in, somewhere else in Pennsylvania? Yes. We are getting that from CNN is reporting that there is a plane down in Pennsylvania, a large plane. As well as now a fourth explosion at the site of the World Trade Center. As you continue to look live at the scene across New York Harbor, what is left of the skyline oh. is truly just smoke and ash right now. And parents, as you, as you continue to watch with us, here's what Cindy had told us regarding children in that area. The kids from PS 89 and 234 were taken to PS 141, and those students at PS 150 were taken to PS3. The children are not uh, 
obviously going anywhere. We're told that they are safe. Yeah. We'll have the parents there to pick them up, but clearly in this chaotic situation, we don't imagine that uh, you'll be able to get in there to get right. them. However, right. take some comfort in knowing that the word from those schools is that the children are doing okay. Cindy? What can you tell us? Cindy, back to you in the newsroom. Right. Uh, more bad news. Part of the Pentagon has collapsed. That's according to CNN. We're now hearing that part of the Pentagon has collapsed. Uh, you know, let's go locally one more time with those schools. It's, it's uh, PS 89 and 234. The kids are actually being walked to PS 41, and that's at 116 West 11th. And students from PS 150 are being walked to PS 3, which is located at Christopher and Hudson. And again, that's where parents can pick up the kids. And once again, I just have to reiterate, the phone lines are really, a lot of people are having trouble getting through. So that has to be really tough, but that's happening citywide. All right, again, Cindy, do me a favor and repeat that uh, schools, those school changes again, too. I know a lot of people are, are needing to hear that. Right, it's PS89 and PS234, uh -huh. and all those students are now being walked to PS41, and that is located at 116 West 11. Okay. Cindy, stay with us as we continue to uh, update people. We just want to recap what it is that's happened today and you can help us fill in some of the blanks as we're all getting bombarded with information the first Robin, I'm just trying to... Uh, I... They're just about to update. What okay, let's hear. Out of Boston, American Airlines Flight 11 hit the first uh, tower before 9 of the World Trade Center. 18 minutes later, a crash in the second tower, then a crash at the Pentagon and you're now reporting that a portion of the Pentagon has collapsed? Yes, that's what we're hearing from CNN and we're also hearing that the Pentagon is monitoring that 767 that has been hijacked from mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, which is believed that that plane is believed to be headed to Washington or Northern Virginia. So they're hoping to, you know, head that off before something else happens. Just so. a reminder, folks, if you're joining us now, you're looking at a live picture from the Pentagon there on the left of your screen. The New York, uh, actually, it's the tape. rather tape of the Pentagon. I'm sorry, and the, the New York skyline there on the right. Cindy, if you're still with us, we have a confirmation of a fire at the Washington Mall as well and an explosion at the State Department which uh, right now the Associated Press is reporting that it was in fact a car, car bomb. bomb. Right, right. And okay. All bridges and tunnels closed into Manhattan as you would imagine. The city under a lockdown, an emergency alert as the mayor, the governor round up their people and try to assess the damage. Robin, I haven't been listening, but uh, John just came in and said he heard that another plane had just been hijacked in Pittsburgh. Right, that's what they were saying on this on the okay. tube, was that a Pittsburgh uh, airport plane had been hijacked, and it's that's the one flying that's toward Virginia, Virginia okay. yeah. and they're, I don't know what they're doing, they're watching. Maybe at this point we should just keep listening to the feed for a while yeah. and see what's going on. It's freaking scary. There's a bunch of people on the phone now, so people are able to get through on their phones. Only on some. On some. Oh, the primary day has been canceled. You're supposed to go out and vote for a mayor uh, candidate. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing that today. We are not doing that today. Uh, you're looking live now, but we're going to, in a minute, roll, rewind the tape and then show it to you as it started. Here is a tape of the second plane that went into tower number two. At just about 9.20 this morning, it crashed into the 110-story tower, exploding into flames, sending debris everywhere, um, and that happened at about 9.20, the first plane having crashed into tower number one at 9 o'clock. 40,000 people working between the two centers right now, and we only can imagine what's happening as far as uh, buildings nearby. We have not heard too many reports uh, from the other buildings in that area. Here's now you're collapse. looking to take you yeah, from the collapse of the first tower, and not long after that, the collapse of the second tower. About a half an hour later. Again, children in the area, in the schools in that area, we are told are doing well. We're told they're fine, of course. They're being held in those schools. Children from PS89, PS234 taken to PS41. Kids from PS150 taken to PS3. They're not going anywhere until parents can come to get them. And frankly, folks, from what we're able to see, this could take quite a bit of time. And just now, the Associated Press reporting that a large plane, to reiterate what Cindy Shewitt brought us, a large plane crashed into western Pennsylvania. Officials at Somerset County Airport are confirming this. The AP report. We've also heard reports that there was a... Yeah, there is a there is hijacked 767 out of Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh that is circling an airport in northern Virginia. Uh, not sure if it's Washington National Airport or Dulles Airport, uh, the, which is now Reagan mm -hmm. Airport. Um, but that the authorities, of course, have a beat on that, but that we understand that that 767 out of Pittsburgh has been hijacked. Let's refocus our attention, if we can, on the situation here in New York City. Lou Young joining us on the phone. Lou? Well, we uh, were just trying to get to a City Hall a few moments ago, uh, walking down from Canal Street. Everything, as you know, was, was completely blocked. Seas of people coming the other way, uh, dumbfounded by the collapse of the first tower. 
and uh, some of them covered with soot, uh, many of them trying to just get out of town. Uh, City Hall, of course, was blocked off at that point because it was uh, uh, literally uh, in the shadow of a potential fall zone of the uh, second tower, which was uh, at that point in danger of uh, falling. We um, worked our way around uh, to the south, trying to link up. Uh, with All right, so we're trying to figure out what's going on here. Double A's on the phone. Where are you, Double A? Where are you getting this report from? I'm watching Channel 42 News. It's New Jersey. They're saying that two more planes got hijacked out of Boston and they're headed for L.A. Oh my God! This is Whoa! Sick man, what the hell's going on we, here? This is an organized effort like we've never seen. I mean, how could the FBI or the CIA not be aware of this? Yeah, heads it, will roll on this one. Has anybody? If there are any heads left when they're done. Right. Has anybody said that? They're also saying that uh, the White House knew about this stuff. That, that was they, they had a credible report of a terrorist attack. Ah. We're aware that the plane that was hijacked out of Pittsburgh has crashed. It has. Wow. Yes, that's what it we're doing. That's, that's what I mean. That's what we're Where to crash into? Um, about eighty miles outside of Pittsburgh. So, in other words, that's what I was just told right outside. We so don't know if it was shot down. We don't know. And there right. are people on that plane. We I mean, I'm talking about passengers. We would assume so, but we just don't know. This is a this is a sick Have day. We, uh, I don't. I just don't ever recall a time where a plane was hijacked. We didn't immediately know about it. Why are they still being hijacked? All right, here's what I know. The plane crashed in Somerset County, Pennsylvania. Hey, Howard. Yeah. Maybe the pilot the flew it into the ground. You think the pilot, yeah, I just say, uh, uh, you know, I'd rather crash in an unpopulated area at this yep. point? Yeah, let's just kill ourselves. I yeah, mean. maybe that's what they're doing. But now, I, you know, uh, Ganyu just told me that people are thinking, assuming that, that the actual pilots are not, you know... I don't think so. No, 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 that they're not the actual pilots. They're just like some... Right, they're some terrorists. Howard, there's an exodus of people, it appears, walking on the FDR towards the Williamsburg Bridge through the park here. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, I can tell you right now, Richie was in the Times Square area, who works for E. He says he's walking to Queens, and, and you know, uh, Casey and Benji are asking me, do I feel safe here? I was like, I don't feel safe anywhere in this country yeah, right now. Yeah, where are you going to go? What am, I, what am I going to walk to Connecticut? I mean, what do you well, do? Well, Casey just bailed out. He <laughs> yeah. told me he didn't feel safe in the to, building, and he, went, uh, he wants to be on the ground. He lives on the ground floor, so fine. Uh -huh. like, I want to be on the... He's going to go home to his base. There's a guy that was their plan, Howard. They, they instill fear. That's their... That's what they wanted yeah. to do was the fear factor. Don't expect KC to defend it. Yeah, like, I, I want to be the foxhole with KC. I like the way I'll tell you one thing. I don't, I, I've never been, you know, the Vietnam War, I never wanted to go fight, but I'll go fight this, this one. This is something to fight. I'll enlist about. right now, God damn it, fly over there and help blow up these pricks. I'll, I'll be right with you, with you, Howard. I'll be right there with you. You bet. Howard, you know what, Howard, you know what I keep saying to John? Casey, you get on the ground floor, buddy, if you're right, nervous. Don't I'm serious. Be safe. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even making fun of you. You go ahead. Go ahead. Oh Get down. To, I'm serious. If you're not comfortable, right. leave. Go where you're comfortable. Right, shake nobody's comfortable yeah, here now anyway. Up on like the, on the on a high floor like this. Good. All right, so go. Think Goodbye. about tanning. Don't worry. You can go. This is a real thing. If you have a real fear, you should leave. Hey, Howard, you know what really scares me now is the bedlam on the streets of New York now. Is it going to be a lot of looting now? Are people going to go, oh. no. I don't know. I, I hope, hope not. God that we have the respect and dignity yeah. not to do that. You know, Howard, you know the thing that freaks me out? How on earth will I ever, ever, ever explain this to my son? You won't. What do you mean? Just say that. You well, know. if we don't do anything, you really will have trouble explaining it. Bush has got to come to play how, here, man. He's got to. Well, yeah, he's probably busy right now planning something. I'm telling you, any 